Welcome back to Reggie's podcast. You're here with three blokes that could have been anything, but decided to have fun instead. Uh, boys, huge show coming up today. We've got all your footy covered, including all those origin changes. Uh, was the choke of the year, I think, from North Melbourne Footy Club until Rory McElroy said, hold my beer, boys, <laughs> uh, at the US Open in the Gulf. We're finally up to the Super 8 stage in the T20 World Cup. Thank fuck for that. Uh, we've got new Aussie World Champion boxers. Euro 2024 is happening. Uh, football over in Europe. And we might even cover some uh, MLE, boys. I don't know if you've heard of the Major League Eating. But, Ooh, uh, sounds Reggie. We'll see how we go. On Friday night? Or? We'll see how we go. But to keep it Reggie, we might cover the upcoming 4th of July hot dog eating contest. Uh, beauty. In the US of A. Fucking and Aussie's nice. right in the market to win. Oh, two really? Two dollars he's opened up at. Holy fuck. And just, not, not favourite, though. We just love beating cunts at their own sport, don't yeah. we? Well, mm. there's a lot of controversy with uh, Joey Chestnut. I'm sure you've heard, I've of, heard him. of him. I've heard of him, yeah. The 16-time <laughs> world champ at this hot dog contest. True. Yeah. Loves his way around a snag. Yeah. Eh? I think 70 or 74 maybe is the record. Wow. That's fucked. Um, yeah. yeah. Is that just an overall eating as eight many minutes. as you can? Uh, I, hey? think it, I think it's timed, yeah. <laughs> 74 He's not a big fat minutes. Minutes. I believe it's eight or ten minutes, yeah. Mate, they'd just be lined in his guts. He wouldn't have time to <laughs> chew that. No, he'd just swallow the whole thing. Wow. Um, <laughs> Anyway, we, oh, we let's just get into it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get so the controversy is the the mob that runs. There's two big brands of hot dogs in America. Yeah. And the mob that runs this competition every Fourth of July at fucking in uh, at Coney Island. Mm. I, mean, I don't know where that is, but that's where they have know, it. What do I? Um, the mob who runs it. Mm. Uh, he's gone and signed a big promotional deal with the other the the other hot dog mob. Oh. So they've banned him. Oh, and they said hey, <laughs> we're banning <laughs> we're banning the sixteen timer. So Holy. it's literally like live and PGA tour, but for hot dogs. Pretty well. Wow. So yeah, they've pretty <laughs> pretty much gone and said fuck you. Fuck you, mate. We're banning you. Yeah, so, we've given you that many free snags over the years, and you're fucking. You're gonna gone. go shut. It's like an unloyal gay man <laughs> has just wandered off to find another snag. <laughs> He's gonna go <laughs> shove another glizzy in his mouth. Wow, so, you yeah, rude bastard. I'm not sure if this promote other hot dog mob even have a competition, but he's gone and signed some promotional <laughs> deal with him. So. Wow. Uh, yeah, they've told him to go and get fucked. Surely Buzz is all over that. Oh, <laughs> Mayo on a hot dog. Just fucking. Let know. me just. Um, I've actually got Nathan's Hot Dogs. That's what they're called. Yeah, right. Oh. Nathan's. Oh, on the hot Shout dog front. Nath. What's your go to with a hot dog? Is it tomato sauce and. Um, I'm a mustard, mustard man. Mustard, yeah. that's, that was yep. the one. Tomato, bit of cheese, type. cheese tomato sauce, bacon. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of fried bacon. Yeah, a little fried bit bacon. Diced up bacon. Cheese. Maybe some grilled good. onion. Yeah, yeah. It's nah, if you want to be real fat. But the so- sauce wise, tomato and mustard. Fucking mustard, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I used to winner. just run the. Like, are we talking fucking sausage sizzle here? Or are no, we talking no, hot dog? No, right, 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 right. Yeah, common mystery meat. Um, just back in the MLE. Ah, the major league eating. Yeah, yeah. This number two in the world, this Esper, I think his name is. Mm. That's his last name. Yep. They reckon it's a bit like um, uh, who was the? the uh, it's a bit like when you've got a number one, mm. you are just the clear number two, and you would have won sixteen if it if you were born in a different era, like Whitaker and Adesanya sort of thing. Yeah, right. I guess so. Yeah. So he's like the clear second best eater. They yeah. don't eat just eat hot dogs. It's like a fucking tour, yeah. and they just wow. eat shit. <laughs> they go to different countries and eat their cuisine? No, nah, I don't that think so. Cool. It's just in America, but that's like donuts, yeah, chicken yeah. wings, all that. Guess mm. what the record for chicken wings, bone in, so it's obviously a technique. How they do it is you start with your fucking – no, they weigh your bones at the end. Yeah, right. So they, right. You, they see how many you've eaten – and then they weigh, so you got to get as much meat off as you can. Yeah. Mm. Record, just throw weight it. or yeah. number of number wings. of wings in, no, no. in a certain amount of time in ten minutes in two hundred and sixty. Uh-huh. Fuck off, Jace. What? So two hundred and sixty-four. Wow. 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, I'm going to buy a lotto ticket. Cunt. Did you just say 260? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking kidding? I must name wow. him Way Around a You were supposed to say 80 or something. I was so. going to say, nah. I was gonna say <laughs> fuck off, cunt. Because the way that you like pumped that up and the, how many hot dogs you said, I was like, I don't want to undermine this too much. So They're machines. Wow. But anyway, the bloke, James Webb, he's from Sydney. Mm. Uh, he's he'll be heading over there and on he's, your web oh! He's in yeah, the fucking, fucking market oh. at two dollars, but this Esper cunt's a dollar eighty. We should so. send him oh, a bag of reg to run while he's pounding. <laughs> Can him. you imagine that? Just flips oh, it back. Be fucking and he's prime. Just Listen, mate, busies. we want to get behind you with your snag eating. Fourth of <laughs> July. Well, we might follow this next week. Yeah, oh, in the week yeah. I'm you know what's only <laughs> fair is that if the bloke he's versing is a yank. Yeah. That he comes over here and does it with bunning snags. Oh, yeah. Mm. Do it on his territory. We, we actually terms. run a thing with a bloke. We went camping once and didn't know him that well. Just met him. Seemed like a good bloke, but we did a bit of a test on him. We did the we did the hot dogs, cooked the hot dogs, had the bread, the cheese, the bacon, all the shit. Mm. And then we had the sauces there. We had tomato, fucking barbecue, and um, why do I – mustard. Oh, yeah. Had the three of them sitting there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Keep retard. <laughs> retard. Um, had the three sitting there. And he was off having a piss. I said, righto, boys, this will see if this fucker's a psycho or not. If he puts barbecue sauce <laughs> on, on, his this, hot dog. on his hot dog, so then there's wrong. something wrong with him. And he passed. And we went, thank fuck. He got it, righto. I have to lock his well, to stay there, yeah. <laughs> the, the Swedes love a, uh, their version of the hot dog. Mm. They call it a... A corv is what a sausage is. Oh, yeah. So they call it a sausage with bread. Mm. Makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, they run it with the – what is? What do you call the onion that's all – it's like deep fried almost, like uh, oh. fried fucking shallots or something. Shallots. Yeah. Yeah, right. Like so they're onion. like a crunchy – you have like a crunch yeah, to it. Yeah, the crunch. Yeah, yeah right. fucking unreal. I haven't, I haven't eaten love, dinner yet, so I'm um, fucking loving this yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Europeans love tomato sauce and mustard, don't they? Oh, not mustard, sorry, mayo. Tomato sauce and mayo. Do they? Mm. I don't know if that was just something I noticed mm. when I went there. Is that Swedes every time... just love sauce in general. Yeah. Fuck, they love sauce. So it was just mayo and tomato sauce were like the default options. Mm. Mm. So. Fair enough. Shout, anyway. out to, shout out to hot dogs. Shout anyway. out to the MLE. Bro. Yeah, and the MLE. <laughs> What's his name? What's it? Webbo. Shout out Webbo. to Webbo. Jimmy Webb. We should reach out to Jim. Yeah, if we, Webber we barbecues don't sponsor that cunt, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Right, oh, um, on to a bit of serious business. Not that the MLE is not serious, but um, the vlog mm. is out this Friday. So we went and bought a horse, the Magic Millions, uh, last, sale of, <coughs> last sale of the year, um, last month, this month. This month, start of this month. We're on the coast. We've logged the whole experience of what goes into uh, to buying them. So... Uh, we can't wait to get an ownership group together. Go check out the vlog. Uh, it'll be out this Friday. So, look, you won't miss it. We'll put up some posts saying that it's coming out and that it is out, etc. Yeah. That's, the yeah, this Friday, 21st of June, 4 p.m. All the info that you need to know or would want yep. to know is in that. And then, yeah, great, we'll get to the next You're bit. pretty well... Um, you don't get this full experience with other syndications. Like, this is... This is a... Uh, I don't know. No not, secrets here, Definitely man. not a once in a lifetime because it's not that. But, I mean, if you go with another syndication other than Pulse Racing Thoroughbreds, which is who we've gone with, you're not going to get this opportunity to go and genuinely see the three days leading up to us buying it. Um, on Monday the 24th of June, we've got a special episode coming out with Cameron Hay from Pulse Racing Thoroughbreds. So that'll be next Monday, special episode. We're also going to get Annabelle Nishan on for a yarn to talk all things uh, training horses yep. before the shares officially go on sale. So, look, they are extremely limited. Um, so if you want to get involved, reach out and we'll get you all the details, everything that's uh, gone into the process. You can go watch the vlog, listen to the episodes with Pulse. Uh, we're giving everyone the full experience, Mate, like it's I been, said. Almost it's, like you were there with us. So yeah. take advantage of it because, yeah, not many syndicates um, can offer this sort of experience. That's right. Um, and a lot of fucking hard work and time has gone into this just so we can offer you guys that. It's that just that next level of giving you guys the experience of knowing exactly what's going on behind the scenes and just being confident in yeah. what you're doing. We don't want anyone sitting there nervous going, oh, 
I don't want to get fucked over, or this is a scam, that's or right. this and that. This is just any us. questions you can just fire away with them too. That's right. And we're yeah. not a bunch Pulse of racing's, Pulse Racing's great with with that sort of thing. They're very open to phone calls and questions and stuff for all the owners and yep. and everything like that. So it's fucking very exciting, man. I'm, yep. I'm so pumped. Well, but, we haven't got the. Um, not everything's completely finalised in terms of the share price breakdown, um, the training freeze breakdown yet, but it, it pretty well is. Yep. I just don't want to say it and then it's slightly different, so I'll do that. We'll do yeah, that yeah. next week. Sure. The You'll shares, know everything before. The shares will go – they won't go on sale until the 1st or 2nd of July, so yep. there's still a couple of weeks. We'll let you know everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest – the biggest thing that we spoke to Cameron about was prize money. Yeah. What happens with that? Whatever percentage you buy, you get the full amount minus the jockey and trainer fees, which are fixed at 5% jockey, 10% trainer. Yeah. Nothing goes to the syndication. So you'll find with a lot of the bigger ones, they will take a cut yep. because it's like a fucking exclusive club, they think mm. it is, that mm. you're, you're – investing into which is just not right if if you ask pulse if you ask you know myself if you ask tom it's not right and pulse don't agree with that so jockey and trainer fees you got to pay them obviously they're doing they're doing the yep. work so five yep. percent ten percent but you get the full amount your share mm. full amount uh and the other thing people get worried about is things like emergency surgery oh what if this happens Spoke to Cameron from Pulse, and this will be on the episode. Been buying and racing horses for 10 years and never happened mm. in a decade. Yeah. So the worst surgery he said that's happened was $4,000 across the whole horse. So do your maths. If you've got 1%, fuck all. Yeah, yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. So, yeah, those sort of things. If you have any questions, just hit us up. Mm. We'll answer them straight away. There is nothing to be worried about. Um, yeah. I think yeah. that's another great point is that you will hear back from the syndicate and the blokes that you're with more than you would with anyone because yeah. we're not just a bunch of strangers. You're not getting into a syndicate with other people that you're like, I don't know them, but it's me and a couple of mates. Yeah. We're all fucking Reggies and Fuck Pulse yeah. will be there the whole we're fucking, fucking way. We're fucking buying a horse together. That's boys. right. That's why it's such a cool and experience. Girls. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking jump in it, man. Yeah. Fucking oath, man. Very exciting. Any questions, hit us up. We'll yep. answer it straight away. It's going to be fucking fun. Hopefully on – maybe on Thursday's episode we'll have a bit of a breakdown of the share price and everything like that. Yep. So exciting, exciting things. Um, just another quick update on the Moya shirts. The final touches are getting done on them right now. They are not very far off at all. We'll have them in our hands very soon, and they'll be out to you guys ASAP. So thanks for your patience, guys. They'll be out soon. I can't wait to see people running them as well. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking oath. And uh, get, in the, get in and join the RLC if you haven't already. Loads of fun in there. Plenty of banner. Good times. Plenty of losing bet slips. The occasional winner thrown in there too, I reckon. <laughs> mm. And the bloke that posts that everyone just goes, well, where's the fucking tip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, you'll get to meet Tom Miles, who lets me know every week. Oh, does he set an alarm the post on Tuesdays? <laughs> well, I probably should. <laughs> but I've got him. That's yeah. right. Uh, I've just done the reggiest thing I've ever done in my life, and scrolling up, I've managed to delete my whole page of notes. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, that, oh, no. so that was cool. Look, oh. I'll be sweet because I know about the UFC That's and right. the boxing, yeah. but like when it goes into details of like which belt he won and who he fights and which date things are. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that, good. So that's fucking You're unreal. <laughs> I've had That's heart attacks where I've gone, <gasps> where's my notes? I just I literally was scrolling up, then it hit the top, and I went to get out of it, and as my finger oh. went down, it said delete, and I went, did ya? Is there a fucking oh. delete folder? Oh, Ooh. I hope so. Check bro. it out. Recently deleted. Oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> the <Yeah! man! laughs> How <laughs> has he gone and done that? Fucking, that's the only time you'll be playing oh, that this episode. Man. <laughs> Thank fuck, dude. Wow, that's good. The Motorola bloke oh, fucking knows mate. his way around an iPhone. On your G. <laughs> right. Anyway, boys, on we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened there. Right. Uh, we'll get into the. Uh, let's just crack straight into the origin sides. Definitely. Um, look, is this a fair assessment? One got better, one got worse. Sides. <laughs> yes. Well, yep. well, well I'd, I. I'd say that. 
I, I definitely think the Blues has got better on paper. Me as a Queenslander, I feel more worried about this team than the last team. So mm. that must mean it got better. And but they have done the the new, most New South Wales thing ever and just yeah, dropped, the yeah. dropped the halfback. Dropped the halfback. It's great. We need a new seven. Even I, though I'm worried about it, I love that they've done it. They've stuck to what they do and just mm. not be loyal they to have any no kind. Loyalty it's to great. Think, it's not in their blood. I think that um, – that was one of the best posts <laughs> I saw in the RLC on the weekend was Nico missing that kick. Yeah. And, and the ball oh, was the New South Wales jersey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As he kicked Poor it too, cunt. that's what I thought. Yeah. But yeah. no, you're right. Like this team makes me nervous, but at the same time I'm going to pull the whole, oh, you got no loyalty, wouldn't you just – because you feel bad for Nico. Nico didn't deserve to be dropped. Mm. Teddy didn't deserve to be mm. dropped. But there's blokes that are better than It's that. hard with the Teddy thing though because he wasn't – Getting yeah. picked. Well, you could almost argue as well, though. Why the that fuck did he even bother playing game one if he knew he was just going to be gone? You could well, almost argue, yeah, though, with back. the number seven jersey that he wanted to go with Moses, but he wasn't back in time really to, yeah, exactly. to pick yeah, him. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. if you imagine you'd try and hush all that by saying, just so you know, Moses was the first choice halfback. Yeah, and we and all would have went, fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still, let us say fuck off. I reckon he would have picked Nico and Moses if they were healthy, but oh, then because yeah. Luai is actually playing Dude, some more right rugby league, he's gone, well. he's oh, Nico, well. sorry, mate, you've got to go because you're playing mm. So shoot. should we run through the Blues team for anyone who resides Some under hit. a rock? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. So we got... Drop McInnes as well. Yep. <laughs> Edwards at fullback, Toto and Lomax on the wings, Crichton and Mitchell in the centres. That is a filthy centre pairing, mm. I don't know I like say. That. Makes me nervous. Uh, Luai Moses in the halves, Jakey T and Payne in the up front, Reese Robson at hooker, Liam Martin, Angus Crichton and Cameron Murray. That's a better back row. The back row. <laughs> Now, very out of the out of the blue, in my opinion, Connor Watson, number fourteen, great utility, but we'll get to a bit of that in a sec. Isaiah, Amole Olakawatu, and Spencer Lenu. Good bench. And then Mitch Solid Barnett bench. at eighteenth man, Cameron McInnes and Luke Curry. Solid, solid bench. Very solid. Mm. And back row. Now, what? So we obviously Edwards and Moses taking the spots of a couple mm. of lads from last game, but the big one for me here. Uh, Connor Watson at 14. Now, I, I reckon Connor Watson's a great utility. My only question here is what can Connor Watson do that Birdo couldn't do? Mm. He's probably got a m- bit more of presence in the middle, which yeah. I get. Probably I better in hooker. Nine, nine definitely and 13. Better hooker. Yeah. Nine and 13, Connor agree can with play. That. But yeah. Burton and Connor can both play six. And I get. I uh, don't think Burton can play nine. Or no, 13. he can't, yeah. So that's where you get more variety in the middle. Yeah. But mm. Burton offers more variety in the back line. So they're mm. both utilities, but two completely different ones. But so, I would personally would have picked Burton. There's no way I reckon he'll have more of an impact. It, yeah. Is Robson an eighty minute hooker? Well he fucking did last game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm wondering like he might be um he might be planning to use him in hooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if there's surely. no injuries and stuff, yeah. surely. Well, Murray will have to have a break, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a fucking, yeah, mate, it's, it's a smart it's good, choice. It's good. I just wonder how Birdo was sniffing at 18th man That's and right, is now yeah. completely gone. Yeah. Like New South Wales just sums that up because yeah, it's sure. New South and Wales. And Cameron McInnes did not play bad in game one. Yeah, Didn't but he yeah. shine. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but Murray wasn't available. Well, sorry, yeah. Cam Murray and Isaiah are better options at life. Fuck, 100%. mate, Cameron Murray's a weapon. But could you, you have put McInnes at 14? What like, do you call McInnes? <laughs> McInnes. The hooker that can't pass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 what do you call McInnes? McInnes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a bit stumped there myself. I, mean, I was sort of going, what, what is are he talking about? Oh. But, yeah, I, I honestly think he is the hooker that can't pass very well. Like, if he's a good hooker, but he just struggles at passing as good <laughs> so as the other one. Yeah, so they put the him shift. at lock. Yep. And he just plugs a hole up the guts. Does it well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Workhorse. Yeah. But I mean, he's not that elusive. No, nah, he's quick not. play the ball. Fuck it. Modern day yeah. hooker. Where he's going, all right, so you're a hooker, but you can't pass, but you so can tackle. So you can play lock. So yeah. go be a little lock. Yeah. yeah. A little lock. <laughs> yeah. But mate, honestly, good team. It must just Solid. fuck your confidence playing once. And then Bro, they just Nico's drop. played two game ones. <laughs> poor cunt. You think of the poor bastard. Like, I'm not defending his game. I don't think he played well. No. Um, but. Fuck me, there's an asterisk on it for his sake at least. Two yeah, asterisks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. Fuck. 
But, but honestly, anyway, it's a good um, side. Yeah. yeah, it's a good side. Latrell, he must have listened when I said before game one that he doesn't deserve to wear a Blues jersey. He's got no oh, passion. Mm. He's been what. lazy. So he went, okay, well, I'll just go do everything you said I don't do. But mm. why does it fucking take till now? For him, he to was fire up, yeah. no one was going to stop him on Friday. I don't care. Fuck, Fuck no. Say, he came but... out and pretty well said, oh, Rabbitohs fans must be sitting there going, what the fuck, cunt? Why is it round 15? Is it because the other coach, he was like, yeah, I'm not playing for you. Oh, and then maybe. now the new coach is in and he's like, all right, let's all get along now and He play. knows Wayne's coming back too. True. So Who he knows? wants to... Uh, prove a point but what I do year. know is that he is a threat, oh. and I hope that Hammer is marking him. But I have mm. a feeling that Val will be. Well, Obviously, trust uh, all the boys, but um, probably probably brings us to our next point. That's probably the only name you need to mention in the Queensland side is Hammer. So tab your eye for no, mate. Fuck well, me. Fuck, he's good. Fuck, he's he's just a rugby league player. He's now, a rugby league gazelle. I hope <laughs> that. This, I get completely proven wrong here. Obviously, yep. we were going to pick Reese Walsh 100%. Mm. Um, I really wanted Hammer to, be, to play fullback. And then what, Walshy on the bench? Not have him. Not have him at all. Not have him, which oh. is massive. But he's just, oh, he just does shit all the time. And I know he's unbelievable and you need the X factor. And he will probably have the best game of his life in game mm. two. But when he does shit for the Broncos where I'm like, you fucking 20-year-old cunt, where he just tries to do something ridiculous that yeah. no other player can fucking either not keep up with him or they just don't see what he's trying mm. to do and he just looks stupid. You can't afford go. those mistakes. Hammer would not do that. The only thing with me... In against a full 13-on-13 13 13 side, I think when there was some gaps around when Hammer was at fullback, he found him easy and just put the burners on and hit gaps. Mm. I feel like against 13, Reese Walsh will be better quick ball skills yeah. than Hammer making those yep. decisions like that. That's think, my only... While she creates... <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? Kicking oh, the sweet. Fucking... I thought we were no, getting fucking broken me. in on. Who was it? Probably Quinno. Fuck's me. Don't yeah, know. It's me. Anyway. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. while she kind of rips a game apart. Yeah, I know he too. does. Yeah. Like, he has the errors. I think in years we'll see that they will kind of be eradicated. Mm. Who's better to get that out of his game than Billy Slater as well? Mm. But honestly, Man, when, like, going into game one and approved by New South Wales game plan, he can be the most dangerous player on the fucking paddock. Mm. Imagine when KP's full strength. Well, that's right. What are you fucking... And it's like, when if you she did not play, then you go, oh, no, we've got Hammer, who is probably the next best fullback in the comp at the moment. Mm. Do you know what the and funny thing is as well, as well? Is that I've given New South Wales shit that many times. Picking, just picking full fullbacks. fullbacks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll be going, yep. <laughs> Put three in, son. <laughs> three, yeah, but we're but... not going to pick Kalen and put him put the number four on his back. No, no that's right, because <laughs> we get it. Like, if we're going to pick we three do. fullbacks, we'll just oh, that do was it right. Me. Oh, that's uh, all right. I wonder what it is. Well, someone's um, breaking in. But, yeah, what I think that's pretty much wrapped up New South Wales. Oh, hey, good team. Yeah. And, and the other thing about it is, too, is no matter what you say, in the back of our heads, we've got game three at some court. Yeah, I know. In their heads, they have to. They win, are obviously need to win. So yeah. it's like, even though obviously the boys would all be telling each other, and yeah, it's just that little lingering thing. But oh, God, it'd be nice to just fucking oh, relax in game three just again. Just kick the like, feet up oh, like last year. Yeah, <laughs> imagine so being New South Wales. Say we win game two. Imagine going, boys. We've got pride in the line here. And fifty two and a half thousand Queenslanders mm. Pride are saying we want a whitewash cunt. Yeah, yeah. Like It'll either way, it is going to be a daunting task whether mm. New South Wales win game two. Yeah. Or not. Well like, Joey oh. Joey has come out, Johnsy, and uh said that he has no doubt, zero doubt that they will win. Obviously he's gotta say that because yeah, yeah. he's a fucking diehard blues, but yeah. Look, I reckon Klein will be That's um, good to hear if you're a blues player. Mm. And supporter, I reckon, if you're hearing your, your best player ever. Yeah, well, if yeah, you're yeah, immortal and your best halfback ever came out and said, oh, we might lose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm sure fuck. he's said it before. And look, I'm yeah, not well, saying that there's going to be dodgy refing, but they would get a lot more money as a whole if it went to a decider. <laughs> no, they, fuck, come on. No, I'm come just on. saying it would. I'm, it's I too know. hard now yeah, for them. Yeah. Like, they might give a few six agains, but 
You can't just cheat. That was more. <laughs> no, that was can't. more. Not that was more day. just to make cunts go fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So zzz, got you. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Um, right, Queensland. Reese Walsh at fullback. Coates and Tui Luggy. <laughs> Tui Lugs hey. on the on the wing. The Lugs. Lugs. The Hammer <laughs> and um, Val Holmes in the centres. Tommy Dearden and Cherry Evans in the halves. Reuben Cotter and Lindsay Collins up front with Benny Hunt. <laughs> At hooker. Dozer. 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 Jaden oh, Sewer and Jeremiah Nene in the back row with Paddy G- Carrigan locking it up. Harry Grant, Mo Fodawaka, Felice Kafusi, and Kurt Capewell on the bench. 18th man, Dane Gagai. <laughs> then we got Helium Lukey and Trent Lue- Liero. 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 See, nah, nah. he's just blooding them in because yeah. that's what he Proof. did with... Ezra Proof. and Pierre Kura. That's what he did with Pierre yeah. Kura and Ezra Mann. Well, everyone went, what was Pierre Kura in there at Fafita? He was never playing. And that shows why. He was never playing. Yep. You right. know what I mean? Like, those squads, they're never playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just blooding them. He's just blooding them in. Blooding them. And I just, I'm, I'm, he's not blood and gags in. Fuck, <laughs> no. He's got Marone and Origin He is 18th in. man. He, like... He'll be kitted up, ready to fucking yeah. go. Look, I, don't, I, don't, get, I if, don't get that, but either. I don't know. If there's anyone who gets it, it's fucking Origin Yeah, gags. I know. But, but I, I just mean... But he's 456 deci- years old. Well, but he's made that. I think he's made the decision that it's like, Gags, you were fucking great. Honestly, he is one of my favourite ever <laughs> Origin yeah. players. Oath, man. But the decision was made that, Gags, you've done well, brother, but it's the new crop when coming through. When you didn't through. pick him last so year. So now yeah, you're just teasing him. <laughs> yeah. It's just like give me he's probably just got over the fact that he's not going to play for Queensland again and now you've given him the s- closest sniff of That would have been that that's what been, I couldn't understand. That would have been the one of the best phone calls to make though. Oh I yeah. Reckon, calling Origin Gags and telling him he's in. Do you reckon um, Well he's Gags not in just, but he's in. Do you reckon he just had Billy's number saved as Origin? <laughs> so I Fuck wanna, head. I, yeah. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> Grub. I want to know what you boys think about this choice. Um, Kurt Capewell, not so much as a player in that. We've seen him at Queensland before, but what is he there to do? I think – so Cobbo's injured, hence why he's not in there. Mm. But if you're going to replace Cobbo with a second rower who can play on the edge – why the fuck is it not David Fafita? Mm, what has David done? Has he fucked Billy's missus? What have you done, young David? Yeah, what have right. you done, David? I'm just thinking if that that to cover more positions straight away for me, he's stronger, faster, moves better laterally, off the bench too, not At having club, to be out there. I just still don't rate him as an origin player. Well, you fucking never will if he doesn't get a chance. <laughs> he's he's had a, a fucking heap of chances. He's played, he's what, few, two or three games? At yeah, origin I don't know. I don't I, know. Capes, I like, so is Capes like, oi, I'm a fan of Capes as well, but yeah, I'm just talking out of all the players we could have possibly picked if that is his position to cover the backs if we get an injury. I know we got gags at 18th man, but that's only if it's a um, – a penalty, yeah. Or, if there's or like fair if play. someone just gets injured, you don't bring the eighteenth man on. Yeah. So I go, what does Capes go to the centres and then? It he'll, moves yeah, from he'll there? have to. Well, well Capes has played yeah. more fucking minutes in Origin and centres than he probably has in second mm. row. Mm. So I get it from that point of view, but I also look at it from the gags point of view too. It's like Capewell was clearly like, righto, mate, you're getting towards the back end, you're out. We got young blokes coming through, hence why he didn't play last year. And then they've still gone, oh, come back in. Well, I just go as well. Oh. Say we get an injury and Capes go to the centres. Look at the centres for them. Mm. Exactly right. Capes. They don't suck. Capes ma- marking up on either Luttrell or Stephen Crichton. And Who I'm play like, like centres and, and it's just unfair on Cape Well yeah. for me. I'm like, fuck. Is that bit, imagine going, all right, you're on, son. It just you seems. Go, oh, can't wait to cover that ground. <laughs> yeah, man, exactly right. <laughs> so anyway. In saying all of this, Righto. in Billy we trust. Do you want me to just run you through? We're talking about possibly not picking as good a team as we could have. Yep. I'm just going to run you through the 2020 <laughs> Queensland Origin backline. Okay. And I'll Game run three. through the. I'll run. Yes, I'll run oh, through yeah. the New South Wales one as well. Fullback Corey Allen, <laughs> wing Val Holmes, centre Dane Gagai, centre Branko Lee, my best mate, winger Edric Lee, <laughs> five eight <laughs> Cameron Munster, halfback Daly Cherry Evans, up against Tedesco, Tupu, 
Gutherson, Whiten, Addo Carr, Cody Walker, Nathan Cleary. Mm. Um, Capewell played second row there. We didn't have – we had a pretty good forward pack, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to lie. But fuck me, Corey Allen. Yeah. <laughs> Our forward pack wasn't amazing then either. Franco Lee playing centre. I don't oh, even think bro. he's NRL anymore. No, no he's, he's, a con- he's a concreter. Yeah. Guess you got the last laugh, cunt. <laughs> or throw your put... fucking heart had across well, the concrete well, at least slab. Ca- at least Katoni's got a um, <laughs> stable a start income. When he, you know, <laughs> I think he'll actually – he does a bit of media stuff, so yeah, I think yeah. he'll be right. I actually watched – one of the dumbest videos I think I've ever watched in my life the other day of him and Latrell on uh, uh, NITV, I think it's called. Mm, yep. They're on there and they're doing like a, a quiz thing to each other and holy fuck, they are stupid. <laughs> like, fuck, they are stupid. Well, like just general some of, Yeah. Some of the shit that was coming out of Katoni <laughs> Stags' mouth and they're sort of like going, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like... Whoa. <laughs> I yeah. think I saved it. We might watch it later. Sounds good. Fuck, That's it was probably dumb. why they play rugby league. But I think they'll be right because they've got that media thing going on. Latrell they might could not be have to mix a mud. media personality for sure. They might I not have to that. mix concrete mud up. No. <laughs> but what we keep forgetting is Billy can see the future. He's Nostradamus. Yeah. So obviously there's going to be no injury that isn't a forceful one. So we can bring gags in and we'll be sweet. Yeah. So. Did uh did you see him just go on NRL 360 the other night and just fucking nah, bro, pin I'm that him. bloke <laughs> to yeah, the he's floor like, yeah, and pump him? Yeah, because he was sort of going, he oh, was fishing. your comments. And he's like, I, I, I didn't make a comment. I didn't. I, per- I think if you remember, I purposely didn't comment on that. Mm. He's like, oh. oh. Yeah. And he tries to bait him again. He goes, uh, you might want to check the comments because, yeah, you might want to check my comments, mate. Mm. <laughs> and he just goes, That's okay, good. I will. <laughs> you can't get under the skin of Billy fucking Slater, uh, mate. He's done uh, everything in the game. Someone else must have said something about it because it was like uh, someone tried to twist your comments and say that maybe you did, were under the belief that um, Reece, the Reese Walsh incident was purposeful and he went, I think I purposely didn't comment on that, mate. <laughs> Trying <laughs> like, to bait him in to admitting something he hasn't. Yeah. And he went, shut the fuck yeah, up. fuck cunt. off. I'm wonders. from Innisfail and I get rugby league. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, right yeah, on. it's going to be a great game. Fucking Great nice. game. Oh, at the G? They, sh- they so, should yeah, feel is at the G. They should feel more confident in their side, I think. Yeah. But what you need to remember is we get it, and even if you win. Possibly the most pressure that's ever been on a halfback. In Mitchell Moses. Oh, mate. Ever, right you reckon? <laughs> oh, that's a big call. But Oi, hang fucking on, hell. Hang on. Yeah. If they lose, does Hines come back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Nathan will be right to go, won't he? Oh, really? Imagine sure. three different half. <laughs> that would be the most New South Wales thing on planet <laughs> Earth. If they have a different halfback for every game, they don't get it. Oh, I, I saw a thing today. It right was to like... um. Cheers, Nico, for your efforts in game one. You only got picked because Reno, Cleary, and Moses were injured, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, that's oh, probably See, the true. funny thing is, is I agree with their team and I really like it, but I still love that they've done what they've done because yeah. it's them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so we can still give it you It makes shit. sense, but it's you, so fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon anyway, they just go in the field origin. and they just look down at their jersey and go, oh, Fuck. It's still blue. It's still <laughs> shit. Amole probably does because a couple of years ago he was a passionate Queenslander. Uh, but I don't yeah. know about oh, As well as Jerome Luai Let's on the public it. record stated mm. that he goes for Queensland. So did fucking To beat a Pango. Yeah. Hamole but- posted on his Instagram. Mm. Luai in an interview when he was with Samoa, I'm pretty sure, said, I go for Queensland. Do you reckon there's – do you reckon someone fucking screenshotted that, that post from <laughs> Ola 2022. Like – and just sat on it, oh, for years, just waiting until for it. he got Surely. picked. Surely, probably. I reckon that would be fucking yeah. definitely, man. Because that's when it would have been. Because uh, no one would have given a fuck when he first said it. No, who cares? No. no, they wouldn't. You're have. probably never going to play. That was, and then boom! Yeah. All of a sudden, he's a fucking colossus out on the edge, and he gets picked, <laughs> and they just go, Ooh. "Look at this!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's exactly yeah. right. They obviously say it because Lua would have said it because he would have been like, "No, I'm not going to play Origin." Yeah. Gets the call up and he goes, fuck. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> to meet a pan guy was like, yeah, I'll come yeah. to your training camps with Queensland. I love Maroons. Spoiler alert, he's been named this weekend for oh the Dolphins. God, he. Mm. <laughs> uh, right, let's get into the games from the weekend. Yep. Um, three words, three letters. 
Nah, three words mm-hmm. for fr- for Friday night, Thursday night, Thursday night. Hammer so Tabby Wife oh, again. Oh. That is one of the best individual tries you'll ever see. That was fucking GI against the Broncos when he played for Rabbits. Yeah, where he beat seven or something and Bam scored in the corner. Barber, yep. That was unbelievable. Yeah, mate. He ran backwards when he first got it. He ran back to get away, and oh, it, God, it was good. The to sign see. of and like elite level fullback is when they can score a try like that but make it look so fucking oh, effortless. Mate, he's at the top level of footy like mm. you can get to oh, and, absolutely. and making it look like he's playing down at Marley Brown Oval here just carving. Against fucking Under sixes. Mongs. <laughs> Against mongs. <laughs> and Hammer is like young too. Yeah. I don't even think he's 25 yet. Yeah. Fact check me on that. Definitely No, wrong. he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be. But He'd be he, way less than that, I reckon. He's... Skill set is going through the roof. 22. Dolphins, just 22. Go. That is fucked, man. Born 01. Holy. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's fucked up. He just that runs around. Get rock hard as a Queensland and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop pulling it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just back to our back line. The whole age then. Walsh is my age, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. He's 20, 21. We can't Xavier get Coates is like 20, 22. Mm. Fucking no, hell. That's good. Hammer's young. Oh, my God. That makes we'll go, me so Obviously, hard. we'll do our predictions with scores next week, I think, eh? Yeah, like yeah, for sure. Yeah. We got Tuesday Thanks. night. Yep. Um, yeah, that was, wasn't was a bad game, actually. It mm. was a bit uh, a bit all over the place, but Fierce, it ended up being a but... good game. The um, the Finns got out to that fucking big lead and then let in a couple yeah, of the it was down. softest tries you'll ever yeah. see. See, that was the that was the thing about Hammer's try is the momentum was all yeah. with the Sharks. They'd that was what was so special about it. Yeah. He yeah. just went, well, he cunts, fucking watch this. Yeah. I was spewing because I yeah. thought that the flat track bullies, the Sharks, had fucking yeah. win. Mm. Um, and anyway, Nico had a kick to tie the game and fucking oh. thought, thought he was Jonathan Thurston. Oh, just <laughs> Can he, in. could he have just... <laughs> Terrible Shank timing, that eh? Much worse. Wasn't like it, it, even if it went across the front or it yeah. just peeled out, but nah, nah, nah. It just fucking never, right. never, ever a it, chance. It reminded me of some of my attempts from <laughs> the sideline next to the fucking bar at the Roosters Field yep. when everyone just plucks them there and just kicks the fuck out of it. That was <laughs> yeah. a couple of those, and I feel for the bloke. Fuck. Yep. Hey, what like, a great finish, though. Yeah, that definitely, tried mate. To score and it was yeah. awesome. Made it entertaining. I was actually texting Jay. When it was happening, and I said, "You got him in or out?" And I said, "I reckon he misses." And we, Jace is like, "Yeah, I do." Too. I had him in. I was Did like, "He'll, no, he'll, both. he'll just, keep this for oh, the jersey." Can... And then no, no. they take too long or something. They overthink the kick. I was like, "Nico probably has very low confidence right mm. now. No way he's sitting there going, i 'I'm going to nail this.'" Well, I don't know. For me, it's like um, you think of the kickers who you'd have heaps of confidence in, and Nico would be way better than me and way better than a lot of people, but he doesn't just scream at me as goal kicker. Like mm. if I think of someone who you'd pick to kick for you. Mm. Clutch moments from the sideline. Val. You're not going to take. Like at the moment. Yeah. Val, mm. Cleary. Cleary for sure. Fucking... Yeah. Maybe yeah. Garrick. Oh, no, nah, he's no, terrible. Yeah, I don't know. Reno. Not Rapana, that's for sure. No. He's fucking... oh, not the fucker for Penrith. <laughs> oh, my God. I needed them to win by 10 for this other bet that I had on. Yep. Oh, Penrith Paul to win Alam- by Alamotti. 10. Alamotti. Yeah. And he, that one just to the left of the sticks. So I'm like, are you kidding, cunt? <laughs> he, uh, look, I'll, I would blame the Bronx and the Rabbits for that, though, because somehow Brisbane scored... Two tries in fucking yeah, Mariner, one minute. Yeah, but me 20 combined points was meant to be the Rabbits just scraping a win and the Panthers smoking, smoking them. Yeah. So anyway. True. Your game plan, yeah. Um, can we just say this next game that we've oh, absolutely... <laughs> wow. Well, that is called wrong. Reggie Analysis 101. <laughs> We named a whole episode after these cunts. Not that's, long, not cold, that's not short, shit. That's yeah. short, warm, and good, that. <laughs> <laughs> short, hot, and good. Yeah, oh, right. fuck. 22 nil at oh, half time. Man, that first half, I just went. That's what they should do to teams. <laughs> yeah. So th- say thank you. Good luck Cowboys. fucking being able to find them, man. Because I um, cannot fucking find them. No, I can't figure them out. I'm done ripping on you. <laughs> Can't even talk about my own team at the moment. So, uh, Cowboys, just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Losing three games in a row and then beat 
someone by 50 fucking points. Mm. I can't pick you. Yeah. And I'm not going to name another episode after you. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Unless uh, we need him to win and just bag him. Speaking of uh, yes, true. rubbish efforts, um, the next game. Uh, God, I was angry, boys. Um, this is how I knew I was, I was getting a bit too – it was getting a bit too far when Wendy asked me, very politely, by yep. the way, mm. she said, would you like me to turn it off? And I said, you know what? Yes. Can can you please turn it off? Save f- my blood pressure. Yeah. And we just switched it over and I took a breath and I was fine. And yeah, I was like, that's, that's good. <sighs> right. I didn't really... Honestly, <clears throat> just knows me so well, just <laughs> real polite, just goes... I'm going to turn it off. And I went, fucking yes. That's a great idea. <laughs> Please turn that Thank off. Thank you. Why and am I forcing myself to do this? 22-0 at that stage. Yeah. Mm. And we scored a couple of tries. Didn't fucking matter. Didn't make a fucking difference, did it? Oh, um, God. There was, a, there was a call in that game that I wanted to bring up. Yeah, Ricky now, should have hit the canada. So, and I know you two, <laughs> it'll just be blown out and just yabbered on. But for me, the inconsistency in the refing when it comes to this, going from that origin thing, mm. right, he gets sent off. Might not be the same thing. That So Ricky hits Cameron Murray off the ball. He's a support runner there. His shoulder made contact with his fucking chin. I don't know did why. It? Yes, it did. It, fucking his head wrapped around and you cannot say yeah, that his yeah, shoulder didn't no, touch no. his head. Yeah. Off the ball, didn't even have the fucking thing. Mm. So then they sort of run in. And yes, Latrell shouldn't have run in. First but he, one in there. They were all in there and he ran in after. Like he Steamed was, in. Steamed in, <laughs> but not one punch was thrown. Yeah. Different story if he threw a punch, see you later, bud, yeah. or whatever. You just, but yeah. you cannot tell me that fucking Ricky, who did that, and Latrell deserve the same punishment and Murray's off for fucking 10 minutes. That's a, like, oh, we'll do on the HIA. How the fuck yeah. do they get the same punishment there? I took mm. me rose-coloured glasses off and I looked at it and I went, I honestly thought Ricky was going to get sent I off. I agree with you with the same punishment thing, but yeah. what do you do? No, well, it's either Ricky goes off and, and the troll goes for 10 right. to, so that that way it's still in the uh, Rabbitoh's favour. Yeah. Or it's fucking Latrell doesn't go and Ricky goes for 10, I reckon. That's what how, I thought. There's not an f- equal punishment, eh? Nah. Mm. If he threw fuck punches, no. fuck off as well. But he didn't, man. He steamed in because it was a bit of a grub shot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred so, percent was, and Ricky and they were all it. g'd up. Oh, g'd up! Fiery. Fucking Latrell was the most g'd up that whole game. Yeah, like he was fucking and, fired up. So yeah. on the first one to throw a bit of shade at anyone, Latrell as well. Like yeah. he's a good player on the teams. I don't go for. Of course, I'm going to be always chipping him. Mm-hmm. But I reckon he was pretty hard done by there. And I reckon just refereeing wise, they're not doing themselves any favors with cunts riding them. Yeah, and you know what <laughs> kind of stumped me is a bloke that we've given a lot of rap to. Is Adam G. The G. The mm. big G. And yeah. he had a bit of a stinker on Friday mm. night. No, nah, well, usually. Only with that. I don't think it it I don't think it impacted the game or anything. It was no. just me after all that origin bullshit. Yeah. You were just off the fact that it was the same punishment. Same punishment, man. Go, yeah. oh, come on, cunts. You can't even you can't talk me through that and me process it and go, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Especially because Murray's off for 10 minutes, a vital player in the team. Mm. First game They get a penalty, well. but then it's normal yeah. for fucking 10 minutes. It well, definitely shouldn't have anyway. been even. Whether we Ricky were, got 10 and Latrell got nothing, should not be even punishment. Because we were down by that much, someone should have just grabbed Latrell yeah. and yeah, he pumped the kill. <laughs> should have just been a stink. <laughs> just yeah. take one for that's, the that's the perfect opportunity for the old yeah, school bring back the yeah. Biff. <laughs> But um, oh, anyway, that was weak. that was my only little. If Latrell wasn't in gripe. contention for Origin. He probably would have thrown one. True, hmm. but, but he, he was knew. never not getting picked after that game. Oh yeah. fuck he was no! He came just out the to fire prove a point. in the belly of all of them. Fuck! You could just tell very early. Eh? Five minutes. I oh, knew we are in big trouble. Here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a man. simple rugby league cliche, but they just wanted it more. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. just wanted it more. Too. Yeah, yeah, we deserve it. And we, then how's fucking 2014 Premiership reunion the night after? Imagine Latrell sitting together, oh. pretty well just gave him the Blues jersey under the table and yeah. fucking wanked I him off with it. I reckon he gave it to him on top of it. <laughs> yeah. In front of everyone. Um, the mighty oh. Leichhardt Oval. <laughs> I should have went. <laughs> yeah, Fafita <laughs> out what last you know? minute fucking yeah. stings a bit though. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I was at this music thing on Saturday and the legends – Mate, it's on like this – it's a car park at the end of the day, but they call it a rooftop. <laughs> it's a fucking car park. Um, <laughs> you, when you walk inside to have a piss, they've got mini golf set up, ping pong set up, 
Oh. And then the biggest fucking projector I've ever – just on a, a white wall yeah. with the footy. Oh, <laughs> fuck I'm going, this is, is unreal. unreal. The girls are all out there listening to music. Oh, I was too, but I just duck in. Yeah, little – Have little a quick look at the Just score. go and take a piss and you walk in and you're just going for your Long piss. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, long. everyone that walked in are like, oh, who'd you tip? And I'm like – I tipped Leichhardt Oval. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. they just nodded. I didn't tip the Tigers. I tipped Leichhardt Oval. Yeah, and then well, they've got the you got it right. Done. Great news for Leichhardt too. They've gotten, I think it was a $40 I million funding boost. It's yeah. staying. Leichhardt staying. Beautiful. Improvement in all the sheds. Make it their home ground all the time. Yeah. Yep. Did I read that Galvin staying now? Yeah. Yes. They've come out and said he's committed and all that. So and he's that, playing this week. So, so that just fills me with even more Buzz Rothfield. Well, they got a win. But so I mean, he's staying now. <laughs> but I mean, Buzz Rothfield going like making that thing about how he was going around in the shed saying yeah, he can't yeah, wait yeah. to leave. I just reckon that confirms that that is the biggest fucking load of shit. Yeah. Well, just they need to just sack the cunt. Mm, Buzz. Yeah. I sort of like having him there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just because it gives me something to just chirp him. Do about. we call yeah. anytime like, there's mayo, mayo man? I just gosh. reckon like he says some stupid shit and he's full of mayo. But like, do you reckon it'd be better without him? Then is who it, do we get? Is like, it it's better the devil you know him. than devil you don't. Is Buzz Buzz the mayo man? Is it worse what he does or? Jace just blatantly making shit up that isn't mm. true at all. No, but this is the thing. What I say I think is right. Buzz goes, yeah, I'm that's what I'm just, getting at. I'm just going to say this and just <laughs> fuck this cunt. I get on here and I go, fuck, I think that's right. So right, well, I get the benefit of the doubt. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you think it's genuinely right, but he just – Lies and adds mayo. He just throws see, the they, mayo But see, they love that we're doing this and <laughs> so many others just talk about the mayo man <laughs> yeah, and keep it all in reference. Keep so, look, I think NRL's a better place with the mayo man it trout is. and shit. Yeah. Especially like off-season, if it's a bit boring, he just yeah. goes, that player was doing coke on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. It's like, thank you, Buzz. There's a bit of fucking news. <laughs> Are you related to Buzz? No, yeah, you might got be. some Buzz He's about got you. the best fucking... Good at impressions. Yeah, that's great. He does cunts at work and it's fucking yeah, hilarious. That's, that's prime. <laughs> In a nice way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah I just reckon you, it's good to have him there so we can chirp him and you go, fuck <laughs> off, mayonnaise. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just um, never believe him. The Waz were up 14 nil, and then they remembered, oi, wait. We're playing the storm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by half time, uh, they were down by six. <laughs> I looked at my tip after and I went, Fuck. And then I saw a stat. They <laughs> haven't won in a certain amount of years against them. Fifth, I was like, oh, it's do you know 12 what, years do you know what shits shit. me, man? So I've been on the Fairlongo train with me multis the last fucking <laughs> couple of <laughs> couple of weeks, me fullback multis. Fairlongo, I really love him as a player. Yeah. Nana. Doesn't score and then just carves the cunts. <laughs> you know who else scored? When I don't have a bet on him. Katoa scored yeah, as Katoa well. Yeah, Katoa scored as well. Mm. Your two classic mm. ones. Yeah, well, I looked at that Just and I shows went, me, stick to what you know, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll pay off Stay eventually. Stay in your fucking lane. Yeah, <laughs> so it'll be another few weeks now, but anyway, yeah. it just give me a little kick up the ass no, to go say, go mate, again. stick with what you know. Um, the, I reckon the Chooks just had a little bit too much firepower yeah, for the Eels. I agree. Who were good? Mm. Probably, a, it was a good game of footy, I reckon. Yeah, it was. Yeah, at Combank too, so they, you know, turned out a crowd. It wasn't like it was at a core and there was no cunt there. Moses diving over yeah. in the 36 mm. minute. Mm. Wait, scoring, mm. not diving. No, no, he no. does that too. No, oh, no he does that yeah. 36 times a game. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean scoring a try would have only helped. Yeah, you know, yeah, oh, whole, for sure. The whole he played, thing. He played all right. It's Boys. his kicking game, man, that's getting him picked. Yeah. His fucking kicking game is unbelievable. Probably the best in the comp, And say. probably yeah. the long, resort Long point. range. For long sure, range man. kicking, best in the and comp. And probably helped him that that wasn't Nico's strong point, mm. his kicking Oh, game. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that sure. would have been a definite thing for Madge to go, well, look, what was our – not so strong points kicking. I reckon What's the fact they had twelve at? kicking. <laughs> yeah, I know, but mm. the kicking was definitely a point. Yeah, they're yeah. going to break down their games. You can still kick well with twelve. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you <don't>. yeah. <laughs> you're the one kicking, not <laughs> you the can other. Especially 12 kick fucking long with twelve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I um. Just on the topic of Parramatta, Moses and Gutho being the sooks, you know, their arms should be taped up here. Mm. Mm. One bloke I'm noticing a bit more, and it hurts me to say because he's a Queenslander, but he's starting to become a bit of a sookie cunt. Are we talking in that game or no. the next one? 
No, the previous one, Harry Ooh. Grant. Oh. I've noticed a lot, and it doesn't help his case could, because he's a hooker, and hookers mm. a lot of the time, they do the old... They the do play this the ball, yeah. the play the ball, yeah. And now yeah. that Harry's the captain, and he's got that fucking right to talk to the ref, I feel like I've noticed a lot Ooh. this year. He's not as much like tears rolling down his face, crying after the hooter, but... <laughs> He's making a case for himself. I feel like Ooh, chirping in the play the ball is fine, though. Like, that's just, like, it's different when you're – if you're just going, eh, like, as yeah. in throwing your it arms up. It just looks worse that if you're the fullback, eh? Yeah. For if sure. you're just running in chirping, that's different. <laughs> I'm but, not saying he's at their level, yeah, but he's yeah. definitely – But you're starting made, to see – Enough for me to notice yeah. that mm. a Queenslander is being a bit sooky and chirping. Yeah, yeah, the fuck ref. yeah. So, we'll, we'll chirp anyone. That's right. Um, yeah. Yep. Mate, best win of the weekend for me here. Eagles, mm. huge win. I know it's the Dragons, but they were down to one on their bench at points during that yeah. game, the Eags. Massive effort from all the uh, forwards. And, yeah, look, I know it's the Dragons, but still. Dragons been playing good footy. Still a huge effort to, uh, to be down to one at stages. Garrick went off twice for a fucking yeah. HIA. Like, he went off, come back on, had one run, went off again. <laughs> So like he H- was gone. Hayden Coy in his Q Cup debut. <laughs> Remind me of that. Ruben Coy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's out this week. Mm. Um, but, yeah, a lot of good win. Out. Brookvale, we t- spoke about this Sunday. Brookvale into Hunter Stadium for your Sunday half. Oh, Just man. Great stop stuff. It. Great stop stuff it. for a rugby league fan. Yeah. In my opinion. 30, especially a neutral one. If you're a neutral fan on that day, you just sit back and just watch footy. I yeah. plonked on the couch after golf and I just went, this is Sunday our rugby league. <laughs> like yeah. even there's certain well, fixtures like <laughs> it actually is Sunday our rugby league. Yes, but like Broncos, when you think of them as Sun Corp, you think Friday night. Yeah, I know. A core, you think, you know, maybe a Saturday night, two people there. <laughs> but suburban <laughs> New South Wales stadiums on yep. a Sunday afternoon. You yeah, just it's go, great. League. Love it. League. Shark too, Park, man. Brookie. Fucking Hunter Stadium. Oh, God. What's the oh, Bulldogs? Wynn Stadium. Stop it. What's Bulldogs? Belmore. 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 Oh. I love Wynn Stadium because the beach is right there. Yeah, it off. is it's cool. Like, eh? It's such so picturesque. Yeah. So Penrith did what they had to do. Yeah. Nothing flashy, but. I was off the mate, comeback. when you have to fucking chop and change your halves every week for about six weeks because your backup gets injured. That's mm. right. And you're on your third string. Fucking five eight or half back, whatever whatever position they play. Yeah. And just consistently beat teams. That is just Mate, I just want to reiterate what I said at the start when I noticed that we'd signed Brad Schneider, is that that was a very good signing. Mm. He fills in and makes good decisions and do- plays his role perfectly. Yeah, but you've been having Cole. Who the fuck is Jay Cole? I don't know. He's been the going all right too. Yeah, but I, I just mean Schneider's that bloke who, like, Cleary obviously injured long term. A, yeah. a lot of other teams, you, the bloke who fills in's all right for a week or two. But Schneider, I think Luai has got to be fucking given credit for, oh, for sure. stepping he's up. Definitely taking. He has fucking grabbed the rain. It'll be interesting to see how he goes now that he's on fire when Cleary comes back. Mm, that's to go, true. how does he then play? Because he's probably used to it now to be like. Which Tigers would be going, Well, that's yes, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. stepping up and they're going, we're going to need you to be our main man next year. And they would be going, fuck yes. Fuck because both. before this happened, he hasn't really showed that he can do that. But well, exactly. He can yeah, play yeah, halfback. Yeah. That was my question team. when he went to Tigers was, that's not a marquee bloke that's going to run your team. And now he's going, actually, I Hang can. on, I can. Mm. Yeah. Galvin at 5'8". Luai at halfback. Yeah. Mm, and that stings cool. that stings even me giving him credit because oh. of how he is as a on the field and for New South Wales. He's and even mate. more so you yep. blokes to give him credit is a fair bit from us. Yeah, but yeah. mate, oh, fuck credit well, where credit's can't. due. He hasn't done anything fuck witty either. <laughs> no. no, he's just no, he's been fucking more calm playing lately. well. Yeah, the yeah. kicking game, man, the short kicking game was fucking Lucky's excellent. Been good. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you reckon plays five eight next year for Penrith? Do you reckon Schneids just goes in there? Do oh. they try and bleed someone young in? Well, like... Schneids is just – that was his first game back from mm. his injury. Yeah, he had an injury right. as well. So, yeah, I'd say so, man. You got that – yeah. Whoever they pick will end up being a fucking – Well, they'll have three others. The next that are, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I think they're, they're pretty safe. But Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't pumped, but you got the win. And yeah, that's you all just cared about your best. <laughs> fucking oath, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, yeah, but 
Good round of footy. We'll go to the AFL. Yeah, yeah. We will. We will go to Chokeville. Not yet. Not straight away. Nah, we'll start at Friday. Yeah. St Kilda versus Lions at the Gabba. Saints um, must be shit because Joe Danica, Danaher kicked five. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you really know that if that cunt's kicking straight, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, the Saints made it look a bit respectable though at the end. They did. They kicked, I think, seven last quarter goals, which is pretty good effort. Both teams scored 100 points. You love to see that. That's right. That's high scoring in today's game for yeah. sure. Yeah. 100%. Um, Saturday. Long. Oh, it was long. It was just so long for Dockers. <laughs> it was. I told you it was. <laughs> the dogs are just was. so fucking hot and cold. I, that's another team. They're either hot dogs pick. or cold dogs. <laughs> cold dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, they're, they're hard to tip, eh? They're like uh, a bit like the cows. They <laughs> are. I wouldn't uh, – that's a bit of an insult <laughs> yeah. to the dogs, but <laughs> what'd you get? What'd you get in your um, tips? <laughs> fucking all of them. Did you? Did yeah. you? Yeah. That's fucking pro. I only got one wrong. Hey. Perfect round. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got six from six too. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hell. Uh, well, I'm there back you up to sixth place as well. I dropped down after the week before, but how many? Uh, on me. How many total points do you want? Total, I'm on 83. Fuck me. I'm on mm. 76. I somehow am just doing quite well. I'm on fuck all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to give myself too much credit because I'll drop to last if I do. No, just fucking get in. How good was the bond? Man. Fuck me. 30 touches and three goals if you don't mind. So consistent. Well, I don't know. If, oh. <laughs> that's good. This is just me. A lot of people probably agree, but a big... Strong midfielder, mm. like different types of them. Cripps is a completely different player to Bond, mm. but a big, lanky midfielder who can just control the game like that is just a sight to see, man. And then you go and say, oh, just go have a rest in the forward line. Exactly. And all right. the backs go, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't you come down here. Yeah, you get back who in wants the to mark him? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yep. Like you send him for a rest and he just fucking kicks goals. He is dangerous. He has put that doggy's team on his back more times than he mm, can count. Yeah. Fucking good nice. on him. Um and yeah, I don't know what you can really say about uh Frio except for hey, we'll cop it. It was a long trip. Yeah. We'll go back home this week and see if we can turn it around. Cuz they have yeah. been playing well before then. That's right. And they play Suns at home this week, so you know, that's yep. long for Suns. That is extremely. God, that's a win. Um <laughs> Horse. Mm. Mate, the soaring. Before we get into how good they are and when we're going to win our next flag, oh, um, Dustin hell. Martin played his 300th game for yep. the Tigers on the weekend. They, they turned out for him too, the Tiger Army, 92,000 of them at the MCG. Home and away game. It was one of the biggest home and away crowds that Richmond's got, I believe. Yeah. Um, three Norm Smiths, which is three best on grounds in a grand final. Wow. Uh, only player to ever do that. I'm 100% biased. Tom, you won't be too sure. <laughs> so, mm. Jace, I'll we'll always say Luke Hodge, but is Dustin Martin the best finals player to ever play? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to be very biased and I'm going to say Gary Ablett <laughs> Jr. <laughs> But so we're all fucking hopeless. Yeah, so that's my team. It's your team. Yeah. Both three-time premiership winners, at least. Yeah. But um, in recent times, absolutely. Three Justy. Norm Smiths. The Norm man, Smiths I'm... speak for himself. But it's not just that. The prelims and yeah. games. Well, he is another big strong midfielder. He's, He's another one of those. Last, like, two years. I've only watched the last two like grand yeah. finals. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, he's one another one of those midfielders. He plays a lot up front now. But he was he would play in the middle and he was so f like strong and fast and his fend off is like iconic. Mm, yep. He fends off and he'd go down forward and fuck right. man. If it was one on one, you were fucked. That if you're the yeah. defender. Twenty twenty like, grand final where he kicked it around the body mm. in the fourth or third quarter, broke my heart. I went, mm. that's game. Yeah. That is Dustin Martin. Uh and the script that they wrote for him, fucking in the first cup first minute or two. Gets the footy from outside 50 and kicks it. He would have kicked it 65 metres. It went, in, went into the crowd from outside 50. Huge. And they just erupted. Oh, like that's was, awesome. Everyone got around him and it was awesome. And then. Then they got pumped. They got pumped. Yeah. Which is all You good. shat on their parade. They <laughs> yeah. wanted just a nice. How good are the fucking Hawks going though? 
They uh, are, man. I, how they turn it around? Fucking Sam Mitchell. Yeah, you made a good point that they still played that brand of footy. Yeah. They couldn't for four quarters, but, but even when it with all a lesser clicks. squad, and now it's clicking and yeah. it is working. They're playing like a top eight team with a bottom eight squad. Will Day, or bottom the, ten. Uh, the reigning Hawks, best and Ferris, I think. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong there, fucking some cunt. Um, his rundown tackle late in the second quarter to not only stop a goal but get a free kick – the, the Tigers were inside 50 and it was just fucking unreal. That is what you, – everything you wish for in a team sport Fuck is no. that. That's yeah, the yeah. coaches. Effort in defence to stop a goal, win a free kick. Does that equate to like Tommy Dearden's cover tackle sort of effort in AFL sort of – I reckon it's pretty fucking, much yeah, – yeah. Pretty well. Maybe – not as big because you kick more goals and shit. In but AFL I mean, same sort school. of effort from your bloke. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and because just, you're getting a free kick from it too, that's what makes the incentive so much. Just a big yeah. gut busting run, and then to get the tackle at the end and get the reward. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Awesome stuff. Love the uh, culture we've got going on. Just it's dangerous. Yeah, too classy. Mm. Swanee's too classy. Yep. <laughs> Good uh, first quarter from the Crows. Yeah, but I saw that and I went. As a Geelong fan from the week before, uh, you just <laughs> just pressing, just pressing. <laughs> yeah, they're just too too classy for way them. too classy. Glad they got the line for my multi. Yeah, yeah, it's so classy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oi. I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to touch oh, them. Just um, at the just moment. quickly before we move on from the Swannies, <laughs> Chase has been oh, fucking gilly. going viral for that Tom Papley. Clip. Oh, <laughs> oh how time. good is that? Big he would have saw that for sure. Uh, People were tagging him in it, but there like, is. look, <laughs> mixed emotions from. There's Chase. about seventy percent. There was fucking nothing mixed about your emotions. No, not me. <laughs> Fuck no. I stand by my word. A bit. Yeah, my emotions took over me a little bit, but uh, Look, you would got you have the chosen point. that to be like cut out of the show and highlighted on all social medias? No. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But Gilly, I'm glad it did. Yeah, I'm look, glad. I have nothing to do with it. I don't even know what he looks there's like. There's 153 <laughs> comments, more, 310 more. saves on TikTok. 70% of people are saying, oh, my God, I couldn't agree more because oh. Papley is one of the least likable players in the comp. It's yeah. an annoying little small forward. Fair yeah. enough. And then the other 30% are Swans fans yeah. who are just <laughs> ripping into me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's fair enough. Oh, yeah, I love Absolutely, the, go yeah, for it. I love the whole, um, you would never be playing AFL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, cunt. What does that mean? That, that What shits me, right, is I'm like, if you're talking about what needs to, like the ticker you should have to play NRL or Origin, we can never talk about that. But growing up liking a sport and really understanding a sport means that you can still have an opinion on the way it's played. <laughs> Look at Buzz. If we didn't have no, an but opinion. Do you know what I mean? No, like, <laughs> yeah. can't carry on like you can't even have an opinion on, like, so we when we had play. the winger thing, yeah. and I'm saying, wingers, what are you doing? I understand defense and sliding <laughs> defense of played footy. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, can't go onto that clip and be like, you wouldn't play NRL. It's like, yeah, I know, man. But you yes, still exactly. understand how That's sport why I'm sitting works. here. If we didn't have opinions because we weren't professional athletes, it'd be welcome back to the Reggies. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that That's is right. literally why we sit here. So, and um, could we yeah. do better than any of them? Fuck no, no way. That's why. That's is the Tom Papley a hundred million times better than I am? Yes. Do I dislike him because he's an annoying player to watch? And I was an angry Geelong fan. <laughs> yes, it's and only it was a great. stand I'm by glad me that word. It happened. Oh. My it's favorite like, comment. You're right. There is a lot of fucking pot, like yeah. agreeing with you. Can you read out some of the most negative no, ones, bro? I, we, I've got one that stuck with me because it made me piss myself. You won't know who he is, Tom, <laughs> but I'm sure you can pick it up because my red hair. He said something, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. He's like, stick to rugby league, Adam Cooney from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Cooney. <laughs> Look up Adam Cooney. Yeah, show yeah, well, oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, like, it actually is entertaining reading the negative comments. <laughs> oh, rugby bro. league. Because I had my Bronx Co- jersey on, so I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, these blokes are just going to go, he's a fucking league fan. <laughs> I never really thought of the resemblance. I went, fuck, that's actually not Look bad. Look at that one. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking unreal. <laughs> great stuff. That's great. Oh, you got man. a better hairline than him. Ooh. But no, there's <laughs> heaps. They're like, 
Oh my God, it's not just me. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, says, yeah, yeah. says what, what I mean. we're all thinking. Spot on. Yes. Everyone else I goes for this. all 17 other teams, but the blokes that are up me are Swans fans. Mm. And Gilly fans. loves finding real oh. chirp worthy stuff you know? <laughs> where we're just singling out a player just on the show right. and just <laughs> highlighting it. You know what Thanks, I thought? Gilly. I woke yeah, up. But look, it's gone fucking oh, viral. Mate, he does a it's good great. job. I'll he take knows what a word. Yeah. yeah. His name's oh. Gilly, not Silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah, Gilly! I woke up Sunday morning and I went, fuck, I might actually survive the week without her getting clipped. Nana. Yeah, yeah, Nana. Yeah. But there quite quickly I went, who gives a fuck? Oh, dude. If Tom Papley's not going to see me in the street and go, you said fuck me. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, and then okay, we've got, sorry. <laughs> we've got the next one. <laughs> Big Azam Khan, the big wicket oh, keeper yeah, from Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Big fridge. We got zero comments, one save, five likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, that fuck. is the algorithm for you. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, anyway. Anyway, on to the next game. <laughs> the Wonder. Chokers. Oh, man. Oh, my North God. Melbourne this Chokers. This is. Chokeroos. This is <laughs> got to be. Oh, Pan no. Penthouse to the shit Proper. House. Ooh, and it looked time. like. Fucking upgrading the penthouse to a better penthouse at one stage. Yeah, I thought, hold on. They had their, like, Hawthorne? did you think that? Do you reckon they started smelling their own farts? I, th- like I reckon they were 50, 50 points up. No, nah, they just ran out of legs. And Collingwood have been renowned for, in the last, what, four or five years for coming back from their anywhere. fourth quarter yeah, yeah. team. They bro. just have legs and yeah. they just are fitted How many in times every did they team. Do it last year? Not from that far down, Hollywood, but they did yeah. it so many times. I reckon man. there's just that like belief there that fuck oh, the score, we will We win. will beat anyone in the fourth quarter, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's the kangaroos. One point. <laughs> yep. And, oh man. Oh. God it would have hurt. The the worst part is they kept putting the camera in the crowd because they were having a premiership reunion <laughs> from 99. Oh. David King and all that were all in the crowd and they kept yeah. going, oh, the boys would be loving this, you oh. know. like, <laughs> oh. And then they go down like that. I mean, it's got to be the choke. Tough It'll be the choke swallow. of the year. It's got to mm, be the choke 100%. of the year. 100%. Like, obviously that last quarter would have hurt, but fuck, if you're Clarko, you are just trying to say, boys... There is so many positives mm. that came oh, out of that. Yeah. So they shouldn't... many positives that come out of that. We played like a fucking top four side for the first half against the reigning premiers. What That's was it right. coming into the fourth quarter? I can't remember what the actual but breakdown did they, did they, was. Did they start really 48 up at half time. And then kicked the first one of the third. So went 54 up. Oh, at the third quarter, they were up by six goals and five points. So... Go on. 41. <laughs> Is that right? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know if they were up by that much. Well, it says 18-2 to 12-7 at quarter three. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they 12-7 12, is basically 13-1. Yeah. So five goals, one they are up by. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but, yeah, you may, if you look at the score, if they put the score up at the end of the game and they said, boys, you just lost to the reigning premiers by one point. I know. Go, but, Fuck yeah. yeah, but the circumstances, the choke – it just hurts more for anyone because it's Collingwood. But yeah, it's even a being game, in a team sport them. and losing in the last minute to a team you thought you should lose to, but you just lost and you should have won. And I've you were hammering them. Four, <laughs> yeah. And you're sitting in the sheds and the coach is saying that and you, it's going in one ear and out <laughs> yeah. the other going, fuck oh, this. Yeah. Why do you're we in a you world from... of hurt. Yeah. yeah. Fucking very unfortunate, but... They can sit there and go, hey, for at least a half and maybe three quarters of footy, we played unreal. If yeah. you're the bottom place team, you've got to take positives out of that if game. They played, you cannot look at any negatives from it. If they played any other side except for those freaks of nature, they would have won. Wouldn't yeah. matter how. Fourth quarter would. Wouldn't matter <laughs> how much they stopped, which they did. They yeah. stopped. They couldn't. They just stopped playing. But if they fucking did it against any other team, they would have won by two or three goals. It's just that Collingwood are fucking unbelievable. Yeah, like it kills me. Kills yeah. Me. Um, <laughs> yeah, Giants won by 22 against Port. The mighty Giants. I was stoked with this. We're getting to a Thursday, but they got my multi up. Yes, um, yes Jace. Port kicked three goals in each half. Mm. You Goalless first are not going to win games of footy like that. Six Fuck goals, no. 15. 
They first mm. quarter they had six behinds, no goals. I was like, these cunts can't kick straight. The Giants did. Yeah, Giants. Yeah. Sorry, um, but solid win. Should have got the win at home for sure. It's relatively long from Adelaide. Yeah, but Port just they're fucking that hit and miss them. Oh, they will, they're hit and miss, around. man, and they're sitting. <laughs> Oh, they're sitting seventh now, actually. Yeah, but I know. they were top four going into this game. Yeah. From second until fucking 13th, man, it is going to be chopped and changed. Yeah, I know. For a We've while. played, Hawthorne close. have played one extra game than a few of those sides there. So it Lions looks are right up your ass. And yeah, they yeah, seem but they'll like lose they're playing this good week. footy. Who knows? Um, we're kind of segue from the choking. Oh, you want to go about? straight into the golf? I was going to do the cricket. Yeah, we can do cricket. Do the golf. Fuck golf, the golf. Right, we'll go so into one choke into another. Yeah, <laughs> big old choke. Poor old Rory. So at US Open on the weekend, uh, it's a major in golf, one of the four. And going into Sunday, Rory McIlroy, Bryson DeChambeau, the, pretty well the face of the PGA Tour in the last two years in Rory versus Bryson, one of the front runners for Liv. It was going to be an ultimate showdown. And Rory, Bryson had three-shot lead. Three shot lead going. He was into seven under. Rory was four under. Yep, and Rory had the lead by two strokes going yeah. into hole sixteen. He was in the box seat. Box he was two, seat. Two shots up with a few holes to go. It was his. He's missed a putt from within three feet on the sixteenth oh, yeah. hole and got a bogey. Three feet's about a metre. Oh no! Never yeah. misses those on the tour this year. I think it's this year. He's made four hundred ninety six. From 496. From, in, from inside three fuck. feet. Yep. Two, oh. Sorry. From three feet or less, he's had 496 putts from inside that distance, and he's knocked them all in. Did he he's snap tap, his he's cup? Did, no, no, no. This was on the 16th, so he was still one shot up when yep. he missed it. Yeah, but imagine the internal. Oh, he would just, have snapped one now for sure. Yeah. Oh. So then on Gets worse. hole 17, I think you got a par. He parted, him. yep. And then it gets to hole 18, the big clubhouse finish. Everyone's there. They know how much is riding on it. He has another three-foot putt for a pass Very over. tough putt. Tough. It, it the was way downhill it and a big break. And it was about a four-footer. Yeah. This one wasn't – was this sniffing. one didn't count as one of the 496. It was a little bit longer, but fuck all. And he's just lipped it out. Oh. So he finished with a bogey. Bryson, Bryson still had a hole to play. Yep. He comes back home. Pars it. Sends his second shot into the bunker, 55 yards out, and absolutely lays a dart up. One of the best bunker shots you'll see from 50 metres. What? Like, unbelievable. It wasn't like a fairway bunker where, you know, you can still kind of hit it flush. It was the shittest distance you could possibly hit a bunker shot from. It's not a fairway bunker where you hit a full shot. It's not a little green side one where you can just get under it. It was 50 metre sh- yep. shot out and of the And he has nailed it. Been shaky in the bunkers and yeah. he's just nailed it, gets the putt, saves par, gets his second major win. But Wins in by a, a shot. Just <laughs> that statement that it was for Bryson was huge. Props to him becoming a very likable golfer after being a very unlikable golfer. Mm. But oh, they Rory, love him now. They love him. They just he love made him. his YouTube channel, everything. Yeah. People love him. He's so entertaining. Poor old Rory. But Rory, oh, man. Rory has. Jew going into this as well. He He played some great golf and he couldn't. The one on 18, you're like, righto. He was shitting bricks because it was downhill. If he gets it slightly wrong, it's fucking go- You've got a longer but one coming back. It's all on the putt on 16, eh? Like, That's what I reckon. It could, have, sa- it could have saved it. He still would have won or if, tied. If, if he, he rolled the one yeah. in on 16... He wouldn't have had any of the demons going on. Yeah. And he would have just right. rolled the one in on 18. For a bloke that's never really let the pressure get to him, I he's know. been on the tour for over, what, 12 years? And Jeez, he's just the fact of the matter is, rattled. though, he's fucking human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, as yeah, in yeah. that is just the top yep. level, top pressure you could ever have on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And this might be a bit harsh because I get the circumstances, but. Um, a couple of weeks ago, or a bit longer than that, when you had the PGA Championship, Bryson lost by a stroke, and he was out in the driving range warming up as Shoffley won. Yeah. And he goes out and congratulates him, shakes his hand. No matter how shattered Bryson looked, Rory was back at the clubhouse watching it, and he got straight in his car and left. Couldn't yeah, he didn't do any media Bryson's or hand. anything. So oh. I thought that is a pretty fucking shit 
That bloke should know how to take a loss. He has been a big name on the tour for a while. I thought that was average. Yeah. He came out on his Instagram story and said, oh, you know, congrats to Bryson. That was great, but too late now. Fuck. I just think even in a hard. tough time like that, I get it, but go and shake his hand, mate. Fuck me. Mm. But, yeah, um, mm, yeah. Do they do that though? I don't know if they always fucking go. I don't and know do if that. they always do it, but anyway, Dyson would have done it. That's all I'm saying. One of the fucking greatest shots, given the circumstances. Yeah, of like, all like, time. And, and yeah, going easy. to that. Yeah. Well done to him for fucking pulling oh, off that. How I, the fuck he pulled that off? I will never know. He'll it be lands- talking about that shot. For fucking yeah. that many years. His though. speech after was Listen prime here, too. I was in a bunker. <laughs> yeah. It was about 50 metres out, kind of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Now, Nailed it. speaking of one of the greatest shots ever given the circumstances, another one that happened two rounds before that, Francesco Molinari is an Italian player. He played his second round in reverse, so he played the back nine first and then the front. So his last hole was the ninth, which is a par three. Do you know what the cut is in golf? Like after two rounds, if you're outside the top, whatever it is, you go yeah, on. Right. They okay. cut half the field, basically. Yep. Yeah, and then it. only half the field plays the weekend. Yep. And there's always a line, like you have to be three under or – A projected cut. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, like, they know this many people are here, um, and it's it's that many end ties as well. Yep. So, like, if you there's a heap on two over. Yeah, if you're They tired. all go through. Yeah, yeah. He was two shots outside the cut line, gone, one hole to play. It's a par three. Fucking holes in one. Oh, <laughs> hell. Yep. Unbelievable. What well, needed the hole in that? one. Needed the hole in one in. to make the cut. How much coin would that have been worth to him? At least 50 grand because that's what last place. If you get 60, play, like place 60th on Saturday and Sunday, you get at least 50 grand. You get 50. Sure. And if you get cut, you get nothing. Good yep. on him. So, so he got at least 50 grand. And yeah. just that is another Great thing stuff. to sit down with your son and say, yeah, I've hold needed one. a hole in one. Sit down, son. Got a yarn for you. That Good is on. unreal. And the way it, like, this isn't discrediting him at all. It wasn't at the pin. Pinehurst Greens, t- yeah, very difficult. Like but that. the way mm. that rolled in, it would have just been holy oh, fuck. Yeah, it wasn't so like funny. it plonked next to it and went in. It landed nah. 15 metres away and, and just rolled in. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just perfectly. It was unreal. Great stuff. Unreal. Good on him. I um, love seeing that sort of shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I do see a bit of a trend emerging here, boys. Mm. Oh, no. So it's been in mainly in the majors this year. Shoffley, he had a great start this year with his golf, and he's had more top 10 finishes than well, anyone else on the PGA Tour. <laughs> He misses out in the Masters, finishes eighth. Scotty was way too good. Next one, gets the win in the PGA Championship. Mm. Bryson, obviously only playing the majors in the PGA Tour. Got second, lost by a stroke to Shoffley. Guess who wins the US Open? Bryson. Bryson. Rory McIlroy, one of the great chokings. You reckon he's going to win the Open? Misses out by a stroke. You're following me here, boys, right? (laughs) Guess what he's got coming up? His next two tournaments. The Genesis Scottish Open and then the British the Open. Open, which is in Scotland as well. It's his element, the UK Lynx courses. Mm. Rory is so due. You reckon? So he has won, the, won them both before, he Scottish has. and the British. So I think he'll go in with – that's the ideal. Oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to come back from that. He's got to. Like so quickly. Yeah, I mean. so he's uh, there's a tournament this weekend or next weekend that he said I'm not competing in yep. because I want to just focus he's on pulled the out. Open. So I honestly, I just think there's no way he's a champion regardless. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why he's He'll been be so right. good in the tour for so many years. This will make him better. He will be practicing three foot putts in his sleep. Yeah. So he doesn't need to. He fucking knows how to do it. That's right. He's just. It was just an. Ab- it's just golf. That's all he, it was. I reckon he would have been holding that fucking thing that tight. Yeah. That putter. Oh, bro. Anyway, just um, yips. The cricket, the yes. group stage, the the first group stage is over, boys. Thank yep. fuck for that. <laughs> just some absolute pathetic excuses for games of cricket. I mean, you had. P- playing minnow sides, obviously. Yeah. you got the big boys up against the minnows. And it's awesome. I get it. Trying to grow the game. Teams getting bowled out for 60 or 70 and then the opposition getting the runs in five overs <laughs> is not a game of cricket. No, no. no. <laughs> Even when it's Afghanistan and New Zealand. Exactly. And that's a two top-tier teams. So 
Wasn't a big fan of it. I get it. You're trying to grow the game. Fucking blah, blah, blah. Awesome to see uh, the USA make the second stage. I reckon the tournament fucking directors yeah. couldn't have asked for anything more than that. Yeah. Um, the Poms got through, boys. Yeah. Oh. Scotland Scotland fucking Scotland. gave us a run for our money. Did so they make 180? 181. And luckily the big Stoin just went out there and hit, I think he made 50 out of 20-something balls, won us the game because mm. we were in shit. But you just we've just got the talent all yeah. the way down the order. Yep. Travi Head batted well as, as well. But, yeah, Stoin got us over the line. It was easy big in the Stoin. end. We did it with a few balls to go. So... We finished top with four from four there. The Poms go through on net run rate only, only because of the washout, which Scotland were going to win that game. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Scotland were none for 90 off 10 overs, and yeah. then it got washed out. Yeah. Um, the West Indies went four from four. That's good for cricket to see them fuckers yeah, going well. Fucking the right. two big surprises, New Zealand gone, Pakistan gone. So... <laughs> You wouldn't have tipped that, eh, at the start. Yeah. Sri Lanka gone Pakistan, as well. Pakistan, especially T20 cricket, they really yeah. rate themselves at that. But big mm. tournaments, they are not a fucking big tournament team. Mm. No. At all. Um, so, yeah, now we move into the second group stage. So they've split the groups up now into two groups of four. Yep. Play every team once. So we've got Afghanistan, Bangladesh, and India. I don't think you could have asked for much more than that. Oh, uh, that's, that that gets me a bit uh, more excited mm, for cricket. That's wow, that's right. <laughs> we should have you know some good I mean? games. I might there. start having a look. Yeah. Bangladesh <laughs> and Afghanistan. This is their format as well. Yeah, they thrive the T Twenties. Yeah. Rashid Khan, he just puts the Afghanistanis on his back. Doesn't mm. he? Um, group two is. Fucking going to be a ripper. Poor old USA have been stitched up here. They look very small. But they got England, South Africa, the West Indies, well, and the USA. <laughs> so okay. Yep. Good luck to you there, fellas. I hope you can knock off one of those sides at least. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully the Poms. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be... If they, oh wow, well, yeah, that would be amazing. This, let's it, just check when that's on. Mm. It would be amazing, but in fucking USA gear and just cheering them. Uh, up. It's not till next Monday. Yeah, that's all right. So I, we play Bangladesh on Friday morning. So it'll be Thursday night over there. Friday morning here. Then we play Afghanistan on Sunday morning. And then on Tuesday morning, we play India. That's going to be huge. What time oh, of the AM are we talking? 10.30 oh, in the morning. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. But yeah. it's not on anything, Tom. That's my next fucking point here on this sheet. What's it on? Oh, you can't watch it. It's not it. on free to air. You can, but you've got to fucking subscribe oh, it's to on another Prime. thing. It's on Prime. on Prime, yeah. Oh. So if you've got it, it's all good. Yeah, thank God. But, I like, how do you not have, to have pay it on? for a sport package or anything? No. How do you not have it on? Either KO or Nine Now. Because the Yanks probably have all fucking ESPN, TNT, all those fucking platforms. Yeah, it is weird. It. Weird. Normally every major tournament, Channel 9 or yeah, Channel 7, no matter where it is, yeah, we'll have usually. it. Yeah. Mm, do better. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. Losing yeah. viewers. Australian broadcasting. You're losing viewers, and yeah. you've just pretty much nailed it there when you said, I might watch it now, because I'd be surprised if, like, I wouldn't be surprised if plenty of people didn't even know it was on. Fucking, I <laughs> would that... not have unless you guys were talking about it on the show because, yeah. like, I don't really wa- – I don't watch the news or anything like that. I'll have a bit of a scroll and I'll follow a fair few pages to do with sport. But, I mean, unless it's on there, mm. it hasn't really I been pushed like on I feel like the promotion yet, for the T20 World Cup hasn't been as big as nah, the ODI. Oh, it's fucking near it. It just kind of happens. And you're like, oh, okay. It was in India, though, the – the ODI World Cup. Yeah, ODI World Cup, no matter where it is, is big, man. Yeah, but the having it over in India, you're going to get promotion there for sure. Mm. Right, hopefully we can uh, get the job done, make the semifinals. Um, I'd say, oh, who would you rather play? Like, I'd love to play the Poms in the semis and beat them, obviously. South Africa, West Indies, England or USA in the semi? I'd rather play USA. Obviously... Come on, be real, realistic here. I'd probably rather oh. play, out of all them, apart from the US, out of the other three, I'd rather play the Poms. Because West Indies, it's home, home for them. That's yep. true. South Africa are guns. So, well, they used to be anyway. 
when they they I do love it. They are Poms. now because they pick their fucking best team. But when they have, I'd a say test Poms match, as well because we've beaten them too. Yeah, we beat them this tournament. We've proved it, and we just love beating. And, them. and we we're just, just love better than them too. So, <laughs> yep, that's yeah. right. At their game, yeah. Righto, let's get into some boxing. Um, mm. We'll start with we'll start with the Aussie Liam Paro, mate. Um, Tommy, take mate, it away. Fucking. It was that good watching this, hey. Like good I, refereeing I was, display. I was, oh, I was sitting there at home and, you know, Liam Paro, Australia's newest world champion, a proud Queenslander two boys from Mackay, which oh, makes it so that. much fucking sweeter. Would get it. You can tell why he just gets it, don't yeah. you? <laughs> Undefeated, went to Puerto Rico, fought the boogeyman, Subriel Matias. Apologies if I got that wrong. In his own backyard to claim the IBF super lightweight world title. Absolutely boxed his fucking ears off. Fuck like yeah. won dominantly, in my opinion. The ref was an absolute fuckwit as well. Like he was into him from round one and two for nothing. Like he was, I think he was saying hitting in the back of the head, but there was a bit of clinch stuff going on, but... Nothing that you would have seen going, oh, it's a bit dirty or whatever. Mm. He went to Paro's corner once in between rounds, pointing at him, saying, you need to respect me, rah, rah, rah. And Paro, when they were getting split up, was just looking at him, nodding and going. And then later in the fight, I'll probably get this wrong, but it would have been around round seven maybe. He got a point deducted off him for fuck all as well. And it just shows you the mental strength that Paro had to – just keep fighting and keep sticking to the game plan because that would rattle a lot of people, mm. getting fucking chirped in the corner like that and then getting a point taken off your butt, stuck to his guns. Um, Mateus is a, like a – I haven't seen much of him, got to be honest, but from all reports, like he knocks people out. 20 wins, 20 knockouts. Ooh, and, and he's wow. only had one loss, right? Yeah. So that's why he's the boogeyman. No one wanted to fight him. Paro just moved heaps, landed more shots in nearly every round, and just fucking went well. When, Smashed him. Mate, it was just so good to Unanimous watch. Unanimous too. So good to watch. And, mate, to be honest, after watching the Maloney stuff and a few of these things, yeah, you I just saw how know. the ref was behaving, and then the commentators almost commentated to think to make you think that he was still maybe <laughs> yeah. dunno. And I'm sitting there watching going, surely this is just a fucking whitewash right now. But when they called it, and then I think it was like um, two judges scored at the same within a couple of points of, of each other. And I was like, surely not, don't do it. And then it went 116, 111 or something. And I went, that's got to be Paro. Yeah. And then bang, got the win. And I'm like, you fucking beauty. Yeah. How, how good is that? So, Was the ref Puerto Rican? No. Well, I, I don't know. But, man, yeah, it, was, uh, it was very good to watch. I'm glad that, you know, the judges scored it like it should have been. And, mate, he um, – he dedicated it to his mate who I think took his own life. He was a real high-level footy player. Ke oh, I should know his name. He played for the Cowboys. Keegan, I think it's Keegan. Um, yep. But young fellas growing up together, and he was like a real high-level footy player at that stage, played for Queensland and stuff. And Regan Grieve. That's him. Yeah. And, and said to him that he's going to win a world title one day when they were younger and always has kept that message saying he's told him he was going to do it. And sort of dedicated the fight to him and that's shit. That's awesome. And I'm just like, man, that's the sort of shit dreams are made of, you yeah, know. And he's absolutely. fairly gone under the radar too. Yeah. Like Paro. So now, like he said, just took the boogeyman out in his backyard. I'm the fucking champ now. Let's go. Like fucking so man, he calls the shots. Mate, how fucking good. It's yeah. just great so to have another Aussie world champ. Oh man. Few getting around these days. Mate, fucking Aussie nice. boxing is in a great spot. Yeah. The boys one are here. hooking in. Yeah. <laughs> That's There's what I thought three you were fucking you insinuating. Fuck yeah, but um, no, it, it's good, mate. It's fucking really good. So, so stoked for Liam, and I can't wait to see what he does now, you know. Undefeated, bro. Yeah. So I think he hasn't been tested to that level. I think that's why the odds were like they were. Mm. Like, he beat Brock Jarvis, beat Montana Love over in um, America, which was a pretty big win for him. But I think this was that next level, uh, next step level sort of thing, where people would have been going, "Oh, he's not tested there," or "There's level." You know, every fucking casual going like me going, "No, oh, there's levels to this shit." <laughs> like fucking, so he just proved that he is at the very top of it. Yeah, and fuck yeah, fucking oath. How good, good on mate. him. Have a spell, mate. Have a spell. 
and then come back and say, right, uh, who do I want to fight? Yeah. Where? Start how much? unifying some belts. Yeah, fucking, yeah, this is where the money oath. comes in. Fucking and oath. I can't. I don't know where he's living at the moment, but you think after <coughs> that win and the level of opponent he's be fighting, he's probably going to have to. I don't know if then he moves to America to yeah. to st- like you know set himself up there or not. Yeah. Point. Exciting times ahead. Yeah. Liam. We had uh, another title. On the line, um, I, was it in Vegas? I'm not sure where it was, but Javonta Davis mm. uh, against Martin, Frank yeah, Martin, fr- Frank Martin, uh, uh, Frank, Frank, uh, Frank, 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 something Martin. Frank will do. It was definitely Martin. He got knocked the fuck uh, out. Oh mate, Ooh, yeah, that Davis is just Tank fucking Ken Bang unbelievable, Carney. man. Mm. He uh, very nice to watch the highlights. Yeah, that um, Martin that he fought in the press conference. He just like. <laughs> They asked him, oh, what do, what do you think of his power? Everyone talks about his power. And he just, he sort of said, he didn't want to say, oh, yeah, he fucking hits hard. But he was like, he just knows the shot. Yeah. He knows fucking how to hit you. Yeah, sort yeah. Sort of thing. Like he wasn't, he didn't really want to say, oh, yeah, he's the hardest puncher I've ever ever copped it from or whatever. Yeah. yeah. He just sort of went, he just knows the angles and he knows how to hit you I think hard. he, it just <laughs> seems like one of those fighters where he doesn't freak out. He just knows that he is going to catch them before the end of the fight. Yeah, like for sure. he'll, he'll like drop a few rounds or whatever, and just stick to his thing. It's yeah. like analyze where they're going to be in that, and just know that a shot's coming. Do Slips think- one punch, and it's like he's fighting in slow mo that he can time it so yeah. well. Do blokes like him? Does he like before the um, Garcia fight? I didn't even know who the fuck he was. Didn't you? Tame. Yeah. Yeah, but is he like? Does he promote himself, or does he just have a fucking good promoter he, I, I'm for him pretty to get sure, these big fights? I'm pretty sure he was under the Mayweather banner oh, for yeah. a while. And I'm a, like, I don't know the the big scale of boxing. I'm only just starting to learn stuff now, so I'm probably speaking way out of school. But he, I think, was around Mayweather and had a lot of hype about him. Right. Tank, and because um, yeah, it feels like he doesn't really go too hard in the the shit talk. No, no, like he's he does not, at the end, like maybe a week or two yeah. out. No, I don't sorta... think he's like Garcia is online and shit. Yeah, he, he yeah. just, I don't think he's like that. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just good. You just wonder how some fighters get these massive fights that every cunt wants to watch. Yeah, but they don't necessarily have all the lip. There's definitely some people who get big fights because they're going to sell out because of the lip yeah. and who they've got like social media and following wise. And then there's other people who just knock cunts out and get yeah. big fights because they're deadly. Yeah. And then the idea is pairing a cunt who does that with a dude who brings a social media side, like Tank versus fucking Garcia. Yeah, that's that's right. like the perfect combination to sell a huge fight. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, um, David but- Benavidez won his fight. Called out, well, his kid actually called out Canelo. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> True. Canelo's been accused of ducking him for a while, so we'll see what happens there. Mm. I think um, there is, what's that other fucking freak of a thing? American just fucking wins all the time. Forgot uh, his name. Around that same division. Yeah. Bivol? No. What's he? No, no, no. He's no. fucking not a yank. No, I didn't think so. Crawford. Oh, yeah, There's Terrence. been a bit of tra- oh, talk about um, them fighting, but he's like three weight classes below. Mm. So I don't know what they do there. Uh, Benavidez, I believe, is the bigger one, bigger yeah, man out of him sorry. and Canelo. But, um, yeah, mm. basically if you're Canelo Alvarez, you just fucking choose who you want yeah. and you just fight him yeah, wherever right. you want yep. to. Um, on the Aussie <laughs> boxing front, I just wanted to give a shout-out to – Couple of lads that I know personally as well. Great lads, you boys have met them as well. Um, Vegas Larfield, Liam Wilson. Yeah. Um, the boys have got fights coming up. So Vegas fighting on a no limit card Wednesday the third of July. Um, I, d- I don't think I read who he was fighting, but it'll be good to see him back in action. Um, and then Liam Wilson takes on Yusuf Dib on uh, Wednesday July tenth. Also on a no limit card, so different ones. Yet you just said, yeah, just different different cards. Yeah, yeah, different cards. So Vegas third of July and Liam on July tenth. Beautiful. So yeah, a Fucking couple nice. of no limit well, cards coming up. Obviously, other fighters all involved in that, but just relevant to the sort of names. lads I know. Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck did that go? Uh, Sky Nicholson. She is fights on July thirteenth. I think I can't fucking see it now. But she won the world. Yeah. Saturday, July 13th, so it'll be Sunday um, the 14th here because it's in the States. Yep. Uh, she won her first world title back in April, so this is her first defence. 
uh, against Diana Vargas. Mm. Don't know who that is, but now nah, Sky's in London. She uh, bases herself there. I think she's under the Eddie Hearn fucking banner. Yeah, uh, everyone calls her boring because she just wins mm. every round. Yep. So fuck off. She wins every round. Yeah. So, well, that's what boxing is. Hopefully, she can uh, keep it going. Yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. Plenty happening in the boxing, boys. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And talk about plenty of happening. Moving into the UFC. So, Kamzat pulls out of the Whitaker fight this weekend with food poisoning, I believe it was. What? You think you'd have the nutritionist dialed in, wouldn't you? Or just fucking have a few spews he was, and he keep was going. Sick. He yeah. was sick anyway. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it was food poisoning. But, yeah, violently ill was Dana's words. Fuck's so, sake, I sparred for a month with broken ribs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I had an ear infection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so, they, they weren't broken, but they were fucked. <laughs> so he, so he's out. He's now fighting Ikram Aliskerov. I think that's Aliskerov, how you might pronounce yeah. it. Don't know. Uh, I've got to admit, I haven't seen anything from him, so I can't be like, oh yeah, he's got this and that. But just just make it up. Dana is does. Dana is talking him up. It's also his job to sell the fight. So mm. who knows what's going to happen? But obviously, I'm in big Rob Dog's corner. Uh, really looking forward to the co-main here, though. Two big Russians <laughs> yeah. going toe-to-toe heavyweights. Pavlovich versus Volkov. I think the fridge, Pavlovich, gets it done by KO. He is a fucking scary man. Mm. Oh, yeah. And yep. before Tom Aspinall knocked him out, I didn't think it was possible. Yeah. For a while. Sure. That was a massive win, wasn't yep. it? So I just think he's going to come back with vengeance. How old is he? And just he chop looks... this beanstalk down. <laughs> he looks about fucking 55. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he'd be 29 or something. Sergey. Yeah. He's probably my age. He would be too. Dude, I reckon he would be like 29, 30, mate. Here we go. He's just the most Russian-looking thing you've ever Both seen. Both of them are the most Russian-looking Russians. Oh, he doesn't look that old here. He's 32. Yeah, right. <laughs> That is real life Ivan Drago. I feel like he looks fucking old in like some of these. Photos. And I was looking at I was looking at the times that it starts, and I'm pretty sure it might be just a nice little time to wake up and catch the last two. Perfect. I yeah. think out in Saudi. Nice Sunday morning. So, so yeah, it should be like wake up, make yourself a copy, watch a couple of free stinks Stay if you've up. got yes. KO. I have a feeling um, I haven't seen anything of that Aliskarov either, but he has no mustache, and I'm assuming oh, he's Dagestan, no so he likes sniffing drugs. Now, well, uh, the chat about him is all his knockout finishes. Oh, good. Really? Yeah. So, well, that'll but, be entertaining. But look, at face value, yeah, he'll sniff. But, <laughs> yep. but I Complete think he's got a lot value. of finishes and stuff like on the feet. So. They wouldn't let him in to the club. The oh. no-mo club, because he didn't sniff. He knocks it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brother, um, you wait. <laughs> so that, that should be good anyway, watching how that goes down. UFC 303, this is a massive one. McGregor yeah. out due to injury. Saw that coming. So I think that'll get postponed. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> um, the main and co-main have both been updated. So Jamal Hill was meant to fight someone, but he's been pulled out as well. So now it's Alex Pereira versus Jiri, uh, Yuri Prohaska. Oh, your boy. You've, you've nailed that. Yeah, is that's the, easy. But that's all right. Is the main fight and Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez is the co main. So that is going to be sick. Will definitely still be a great card to watch. Although I feel sorry for anyone who paid top dollar to see McGregor. I don't know how that happens now. Mm. Like, because he was saying it's the highest gate in pay per view history. It sold out like that when they put it on sale. McGregor and that. Imagine the prices they just went. Yeah. yeah, well, they did. That's why they could do it. And now imagine if you put out the coin. and They'd now, have to refund you. I don't know how it works. Have you'd, to. You'd, think, have to. you'd think so yeah. because even though that's great, it's the McGregor money. That's why. They've got the McGregor tax. They have so. to absolutely have to refund and then put the tickets back out on sale for 307, yeah. which is what they're looking to do. I would not want to have Dana's job. No, nah, it'd be. I price. wouldn't mind it. No, nah, but I mean, just that going. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, fucking. but three oh seven. He would have it. known what he was getting into when Connor said, "Yep," and they fully agreed in a fight. Because hmm. I had a tingle, and I think a lot of people had a tingle. Connor might not. McGregor's never pulled out of a fight before. In his yeah, life. but it's just been so long, man. I just, I don't know. I was like, I'll see it when he's in the fucking octagon. Just felt him and Chandler has been brewing for fucking yeah, two it's, years. He's still it's never still gonna, pulled out of it's, one. It's ever. still, it's still yeah. gonna, it's, it's still gonna happen. He said it's not like a massive injury. It's just a thing where it's like it would have. Uh, he wouldn't yeah. have been able to go in full strength. So I think it's only going to get postponed to August, early September. Yeah. But, yeah, McGregor is not a bloke known to pull out at all. Yeah, I don't know. I just 
I was, it was yeah. too good to be true, the return of the Mac. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. I was like, I think, oh, I think it's definitely going to happen. He'll be back. Yeah. Poor old Chandler has oh. been not fighting for that long, just waiting, hasn't That's he? That's what I mean. Has waiting he wasted... for Red Panty Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has he wasted he's got some of there. his prime? Like, he's been oh, spent who so gives long. Fuck, bro. Yeah. Fight yeah. less, earn more. Dude, True. he'll <laughs> make triple what he'd ever make just by getting... Exactly, man. He's probably thinking, save some brain cells and earn what I would earn... Out of those three fights with one Connor one. Isn't that what we point. all strive to do? Work less, earn more. That's yes. the Aussie dream. <laughs> that's the rugby league dream. <laughs> that's that's fucking right. Um, and just to finish off, boys, Perth card, um, two plus three versus Adesanya five. announced. Yeah, big five oh, versus Izzy announced to headline <laughs> UFC 305 in Perth. That fight excites me. Big that time. will be good. Obviously, there'll be a lot of other... Other Aussie fighters, or they aren't Aussie, but there'll be a lot of Aussie fighters packed into the Aussie card, and there's a heap of them at the moment too. Jack yep. Della, probably Steve Ersig. Yes, I, I heard a sniff ages ago about Kai Kara France talking about nice taking thing. him on, so that'd be cool. I like um, the, I love the fight. Think it's awesome. Mm. They've fucking after all the the little beefy they mm. had before. Is he lost? I just don't get how you can fight someone different when you lost the belt. That's all. That's only my only pick. Yeah, there. you make a good if point. If Strickland still had it, yeah, rematch immediately. I get it. I but, think it just they you know, kind of set know. it up in that way, and the way that they set it worked. up before is he lost to Strickland. I yeah, think the timing right. of it too sometimes plays into it because like yeah, Strickland would have been yeah, I know. Strickland probably would have been time to fight um, Costa, and then like two plus three needed to defend a certain. Yeah, I know, of time. I know, I know, I know. So yeah, they probably did. Yeah. Weird, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's but, weird um, when you look at it from the point of view of. That he's lost, why is he getting a chance? But you got to just remember, it's Adesanya. He ran it absolutely that division like, for so long. Doesn't matter what happens. Whoever wins, Strickland will yeah. fight the winner. He has and to because it works perfectly if Adesanya wins. Yeah, yeah. Because it's instant. Yeah. Strickland. Strickland will be two. fighting the. The only doubt I had about Strickland fighting for the title next was if Rob beat Kamzat. Now that Kamzat's not fighting, I don't think Rob jumps fucking oh, yeah. um, Strickland to fight for the title because he's not well, fighting. Well, the bloke Kamzat. he's fighting isn't even ranked. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, so I think Strickland's done, definitely done enough to deserve another shot. And yeah. I don't think Strickland gives a fuck who he fights out That's of those right. two. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What exactly. excites me the most out of this Adesanya and Drakas fight is that we we get to see a non-title defending Izzy. Mm. When he was title defending, a lot of the times, like the one against Yol Romero was one of the most boring fights I've yeah. ever seen. He just did what he oh, did. Yol. Hold the belt. Kind of got boring, and then that's what Strickland picked him apart for. Yeah, mm. he was like, "You are fucking just doing the bare minimum." It kind of felt sure, like, yeah. And Strickland picked him apart. Izzy come will come out now, and he will be that exciting fighter he was when he first came onto the scene. Well, you think so? You think he'd be? You fucking hope up. so. You cannot knock off the fucking champion just by doing a bit and winning on points. See, so I think he did a. I think he's done a great thing too. He's rich as fuck. And he's a great fighter, and he was up the top for so long with the pressure of being the champ. He's had a good amount of time off, fucking probably refreshed his mind a bit. Mm. And you'd think this is – if he's going to go on another run, he performs unreal this fight. That's That's right. Hopefully he stays out of uh, Cringeville when he's talking. I don't think that's possible. Because he fucking gets – Don't come out to full anime dance move, backflips and (laughs) – Nah, just even at the fucking presses and shit. Talking yeah. about TikTok dances and oh, yeah, but, but entertaining. Anyway. I just think that would have been a perfect fight to have somewhere in Africa. Yeah, but that's the whole storyline of that. it. Mm. When have they ever uh, done that? Put a fucking octagon somewhere <laughs> and then punch. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they will one day. Like Dana was, I think Dana's mentioned that he'd be happy to do one over there. I think it's more going like if Francis was still in there and you had those two yeah. and Francis. But I mean, I You'd think when they put. Cards in places like London. There's all London fighters. Yeah. Aussie. There's all Aussie fighters. Yep. Brazil. Brazilians. Oh, I'm not complaining that it's in Australia either. Nah, I think that's great. I, I just mean I think they have to have like three or four Ooh. known people from Africa to yeah. really build an African card. Izzy's yeah. got a pretty big tie with Australia too. He's fought here yeah, and he's in Kiwi, so it's like yeah. the Aussie fans tend to like him. Well, if he wins, he can be part Aussie. If he loses, he's full Kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But anyway, that's a bit of UFC. Right, now, let's do the footy tips. 
Let's get the tips in. Mm. I've got the team list. Someone get the games. Finns versus Melbourne Friday night yep. at Suncorp. We've got a full strength. No, we don't have full strength either side. But uh, Trey Fuller comes in for Hammer. you got your normal two halves, Nikarima, Katoa. They're both playing. Um, Pappenhausen's back. Ryan Pat oh. makes his return. For Please the storm. just fucking get through, brother. Yeah. Uh, Far Longo goes to the wing. Ooh. So he's still playing on the wing. Tyron Wishart's still playing 5'8 for Cameron Munster. Uh, Bronson Garlic is starting, and you got this Jack Ho- Horth. Howarth. Howarth. Howarth, yeah. How? Worth, do you say that? Yeah, Howarth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, it's Howarth. It yeah. is Howarth. So, and Tavita Pengai starting up. Starting on the bench. Mm. So interested wow. to see how fewer minutes he plays. The bloke he will said be unfit. He's sick of taking orders from coaches and halfbacks. Has gone, I might take some orders. Oh, I can't may, believe Wayne's picked him. He may be Same. like match unfit, but he's not like he's been sitting on the couch. Like he would have been doing a lot of training cardio-wise with boxing. I feel stiffed. like he'll play 10 minutes anyway and just try Different and run fitness, a rampage. Different fitness though. They're oh, all, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, what I'm, I'm going to tip. The uh, storm. I'm Aya. making ground. I'm Aya. making ground too. I'm going nice. fins. We're grounding. Grounding. Fins. Mm. Righto. Uh, Saturday, uh, first game, Titans Chur. take on the Waz. Cheering. Fafita mm. named to start on the Titans don't miss anyone else, row. do they? Jaden Campbell's playing all right at 5'8". He is. Keanu Kinney is playing really well at fullback. Mm. I'm glad they've switched that up. I'm going the bros, but I'll be going a Fafita try. Johnny's. Johnson's playing. Yeah, Jalen I'm going to go Waz as well. Who are the Waz missing? Anyone? Oh, just Capewell. Yeah. Um, mm. It's not like you've noticed him much at the Waz this year anyway. No. And you stay, oh, DWZ got suspended for fucking taking old mate's head off. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Weekend. That's yeah, right. yeah. I'll still go the bros. Yeah, yep. me too. I am, uh, what am I doing? I've already done them, but Titans. Why have I done that? Mm. Titans at home. I reckon form's hit and miss. For feet are back. Fucking let's go it. Fair enough. Uh, and then the Saturday of Roosters take on the Dogs, and I'm also going to make some ground. Are you here. grounding here as well? Who's out for the Roosters? So no Connor Watson. You got no Watson. You got no Stephen Crichton. Stephen. Angus Crichton. Yep. Well, Stephen <laughs> Crichton's Stephen. missing for the Dogs. Stephen's missing for the Dogs, yeah, but no Angus. Um... Lindsay Collins. Suli is still suspended. Yep. I'm going dogs. I think yep. the fact Burton. that Matty Burton's playing mm. really helps him. But I reckon he'll want to prove a point. He'll go, okay, you want to drop me? I was 18th Yeah, I know. Man. That's what I mean. It Perfect. helps that he's yeah. not 18th man or anything because he gets to play now. <laughs> yep, for sure. Um, I'm sniffing a juju bet. For the doggies. Where bet. the fuck Oof. is Industry Group oh, Stadium? Spencer Lenu is also missing for the Chooks. Yeah, that's right. The Chooks also lost this... Uh, they lost to the Cowboys with nobody last origin fucking short round when they missing all their players. I'm just really yeah. enjoying how I'm just really enjoying watching the dogs at the moment and how yeah. they're showing up. And I'd just love to see them win. I'd love to see them beat the Chooks. Yeah. So just on that. Dogs are a team that you like to see win at the moment for sure. Yeah. Industry Group Stadium is in Gosford, by the way. If anyone else was confused. In Gossy. Like I was. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I've got Burton playing dogs. So yeah. dogs won off this the fixture. Bye. As Roosters well. with a few out. They lost to the Cowboys during this origin buy round, last origin buy round. So, mm. yeah, tough game, but fucking I'll go the doggies. So we're all making ground? Yeah, ground. Ground. Uh, the next one, Saturday this night. This is hard. That's what I thought too, Tom. But then I really talked myself into it not being so hard. Mm. Did you? Yeah. I. It's Bunnies versus Manly, and I'm going to go with Bunnies. Cherry right. Evans, ter- Gerbo, Olakawatu. All out. Garrick out as well. Garrick but, out with a HIA. Yeah, a bit of trellis rabbits. Carl Lawton plays halfback. Nathan Brown mm. and Corey Waddell starting in the back row. Uh, look, I've got to go fucking and back Cody Walker in and Jackie mm. White and playing 5'8". And, and they're the playing rabbits. all right footy at the moment. Cody Walker's starting to play a bit better. Jai Gray, he can play, mate. He's playing mm. fullback. I, just, I, th- I think I'm with you after knowing how many, like, Players Manly got out. I just feel like Trell is such a big factor in their energy and their belief. Like, you know when you got that gun and you're like, oh, we'll win easy. 
Like, yeah. oh, I just yeah. don't know. <laughs> or, oh, fuck, Trell's gone. Like, shit. shit, we're losing. Oh, no. Give him the ball. We suck again. <laughs> like, like that. Well, cunt. Cam Murray's also on Origin duty, but they were missing him. He's those, played fuck all, yeah. Jackie White him. and a big stiffen up at six, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm yeah. Gonna go, I am going to go the Rabbits. Mm. If this was at Brookvale, it'd be Manly, but it's not. It's, it's at, at a core. fucking a core at 7.30 on a Saturday. Yeah, like, that like is horrible said, for Jerbo, Manly. Yep. Jerbo, <laughs> Chez, Olakawatu. Yeah, I'll go Rabbits. The three big ants. And Rabbits up and about. And Garrick. Yeah, and Garrick. And the little fluffy tails <laughs> wagon. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one on Sunday, Tigers are taking oh, on Canberra. Oh, Campbelltown. I know. On a Sunday up. We're tipping <laughs> Campbelltown. Are you? We're not kip, tipping the Tigers. We're tipping Campbelltown oh, Stadium. Oh. Look at it. Sunday up. They're shit, the Raiders, too. Fucking <laughs> shit. I've Actually, always no, no, said no, it. No, no, no. No, no, no. They're good. No, they they're are good. good. Boys. I'm actually going to tip Canberra. Uh, it's all right. No, you hate. Okay. You... Oh, no, sorry. Hold on. No, you're all right. I am definitely not going to tip Canberra right now. They <laughs> definitely won't bounce back. <laughs> and No, nah, you never no, no, You mate. never like fucking nah, going with us and manifesting man. something. Fuck yeah. off, cunt. Tigers, Tigers, are Leichhardt. Leichhardt. Tigers at Canberra. Well, I mate. went Leichhardt last <laughs> week. <laughs> what about fucking poor old North Melbourne? Fuck um, when they went west. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh. How about how we manifested that with it? Yeah, fuck yeah. Right, know, boys. Well, we'll go again. Um, <laughs> if it was Leichhardt, I'd go fuck yeah, but I don't oh, think Campbelltown Campbell. is as special as Leichhardt. <laughs> no, Same you're shit, right. different <laughs> smell, mate. <laughs> anyway, so you're yeah. sticking with it? Last yeah, chance. I'm sticking with oh, it. Canberra. Oh, Doug Young back. Grove, mate. Jeez, Why you look at the I sides, man, and you just go, how do you tip the Tigers here? But we are. We are. <laughs> It, fucking we are. Well, we are. Well, we are. Galvin's well, back. Galvin's back. He's committed to the club. He's committed. Buzz is full of shit. <laughs> fucking. Buzz is just spewing mayonnaise. He had to get his guts pumped. <laughs> He's leaking out mayonnaise. Oh, I can't submit it. my tips. Oh, well, oh, that's because well. you're not picking the tykes. Oh. Pick the fucking tykes. It Look, doesn't change. You you're not dog. Let's go. <laughs> go the apple. Fuck. Right, let's go the apple. Um, right out first Easy game. Easy tip here, Tom. Yeah. MCG, Carlton Carlton This Blues. is tough for <laughs> is the it? Catters. Tip against them, man. No, they're not, not way win. too much fucking pride because we definitely can win this but game. You can, that's true. We can yeah. 100%, and I'm going to back us in <laughs> against the Blues. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am making ground here, but it's not in these first two. That would be huge ground making if Geelong Oh, it'd be wins. huge. No, no, we're not. No, nah, it's... You're oh, not we'll playing that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got to buy things. Oh, I just saw a similar colour there. Oh, fuck off, mate. <laughs> uh, we're, rebuilding off the, we're rebuilding the nest this week. <laughs> uh, it kind of applies if you're tipping Lions here because it's Port. They're your rivals. Well, I'm fucking not. I'm I tipping Port. I am definitely tipping Port. Mm. It's a, it is a, that's a ground maker, though, I reckon. If you want to tip the Lions, it's not a bad shit. Port shout. Shaggers are on the bottom Port here. not in form. Lions in form. It's not like Adelaide Oval is a fortress, but I am going to back Port in. I'm going to back them in to turn it around this week. Yep, me too. Against a side that is definitely hot and cold. Yep. I think they're a bit warm at the moment, but they're going to be pretty cold after <laughs> Saturday of at the Oval. Um, that follows into a big Sydney derby. A, yeah, actually, I wanted to mention this. So I think I like the Giants here in the Sydney Derby, formerly known as the Battle of the Bridge or Battle of Sydney or the Kiss Clash. Yes, that's right, the Kiss Clash. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, so they now call it the Sydney Derby. It's way better than the Battle of the Bridge. Shut the fuck up with the Battle of the Bridge. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bridge. I like them. I've, I don't know. They can't keep winning like that, Sydney. No, they can't. They got to have an off one. At one point, it's there's got to be a week where there's got to be a week. It's fucking this week. I'm going Sydney. Right, I'm going, I'm going uh, GWS. It's got to be a week. I don't think at it's going to be this week. At the Giants Stadium. I fucking, really fucking hope I get this wrong. Oi, look at the eleven percent for the ruse. Eleven mm. percent for the ruse. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, you reckon oh. them? You reckon they're just a bit of confidence in it? Now this week. That's not even a bad shout. If D's any are average. If North played any other side last week, they win. And all of a sudden, we're going. Hey, they can beat Melbourne. Because Melbourne are playing terribly. But because they're lost, no one wants to tip them. I'm I tipping just them. think, yeah, if they didn't play the greatest fucking comeback side of the modern era last week, they would have won. Mm. Surely they've got some confidence off that. 
I'm going. I'm going fun. north. I'm hey? going north with an F. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Pick it. The D's, yeah. mate. Nah, you know what? I'd liked Canberra instead of Tigers, but you've steered me into this. Yeah. Just we'll yeah. manifest it. We'll 100 point win to the oh, yeah, D's. Just coming right up. And Jay's still due. a sniff. At the top oh, of the comp. That's too. what I mean. I'm putting my balls on the <laughs> yeah, line. Yeah, wow. Boys. This is huge. So if North fuck me here, I won't tip them again. <laughs> uh, this is long. Well, you'll probably Coast. win heaps of the other tips. Oh, bro. Then. If North get up, <laughs> that's ground. Yeah. This is long for West Coast. Yeah. Oh, Harley's back. Some They're would walking. say too long. Essendon in good form. Mm. Tip the Bombers. Yeah. Yep. You're not losing bombers. anything by fucking not tipping. The Bombers, you know what I mean? Every yeah. cunt's going to tip them. That's right. A West Coast fan This is not your ground maker. Nah. <laughs> uh, and and speaking of long. Oh, that is long. But well, once I have again. a feeling it's going to be overcast at Optus Stadium because the suns will not be shining. <laughs> nice. Good one. I'm going to tip Frio <laughs> Thanks, as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tip Frio as well. Gold Coast, was it? Did I hear this stat right that they won their first game Outside of the Gold Coast in over a, over a year. That wouldn't surprise me. I'm pretty because sure. Because there's a big narrative around them being flat track bullies. Well, they <laughs> fucking are. They are. They are. <laughs> Let me just check. When did they get there? They had the buy last week. I'll get there. You just fucking Plenty of time, patient. Man. I'm well, fucking I'm not rushing you. Oh no, the Saints. That's handy when you're trying to find stuff. That's right. They were up. They were beating the Saints, and then they blew it. So it wasn't there. I'm pretty sure I'm right, eh? Mm. I honestly would back you in on that. They haven't won a game confirmed it. away from yeah, home. Yeah, I for never get shit wrong. <laughs> a long time. So yeah. I reckon it's not. And it's change. not just away from home. It is about five thousand kilometres. <laughs> yeah, she's a long way. Long. Well, there's the tips. Right. Boys, one of our biggest supporters, been with us from the start, the team at the Standard Squeeze. Mm. They've created this. It's in front of me, this beautiful device here. You open up one side, squeeze your perfect pour, drop it straight in your cup, put your mixer in there, drink it straight. I don't care. But you know you've got your perfect nip. Um, made from the food-grade plastic, go and get around it. Pour yourself a two-stroke and Coke. The Reggies get a nice little 15% discount when you uh, use the code Reggie, no S, Reggie15 mm. at checkout on the standardsqueeze.com. Uh, get around Ash and the team. They support us. We love supporting them as well. They've got heaps of other shit on the website. They're fucking smashing the ads at the moment. How yeah, funny are those? Funny so good. <laughs> They're great. Even for the ads, go give them a follow on and just Instagram watch the and, that, and just watch the ads. They're great. They know how to get into our eyes. <laughs> They're fucking going off. <laughs> but um, no one wants to use a shot glass. So right? all times a year, the standard squeeze is handy. But yep. I feel like we're right in the guts of prime time squeeze season, like when she's the fire and you're camping. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's, it's fucking proper squeeze season. So yeah. if you've got some camping trips lined up, it's literally tailor-made for that exact scenario. Beautiful. 100%. Throw it in the golf bag. Yeah. Bottom of the tinny. Yeah. Anywhere. Can literally, th- literally throw it. Yeah. Peg <laughs> yeah. it if you'd throw like. It. Yeah. Throw it at it your kid break. if it's doing something we love it shouldn't it. do. <laughs> <laughs> Softly, he can say that because he has kids. Softly, yeah, we can't. I haven't yet, but I mean, you could do it if you chose to. <laughs> if you <laughs> like another... throwing stuff at kids, <laughs> just another well, would be well, well, the it's weapon really of choice. Snowballing here, yeah. Well, that, whose fucking fault was that? <laughs> yeah, it was mine. <laughs> uh, right, let's give out a squeeze. Look, for um, me, it's fucking the ref in Paro's world title fight could have easily put. A less motivated and focused man off his game, which is a dog act. Blatant cheating, some Blat- would say. Yeah, just yep. fuck off, cunt. It's not about you. No one rocked up to watch you ref. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Great point. I'd love to. Um, I'd love to send North Melbourne from the penthouse to the shit house. <laughs> yeah. that. Oh. oh, boys, that's just my vote. You can <laughs> cheat that, that what you joke. want. That is a great. Because we gave them the fucking captaincy last week. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've just gone they've and just fucked us the in the ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, fucking. Yeah. What do you think, Jay? It's up That's to you. a great narrative. Penthouse to shit house. Mm. They've got to go. They've got to go. They've yep. got to go. Great point. I reckon that ref. <laughs> but no, then, what happens when they fucking we manifest them into a win this week? <laughs> well, they might go fucking bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, that's never sh- happened before. <laughs> that's never. That has never happened. Up, down, up. 
Uh, righto. We'll give it to the fucking North. We've got it. Yeah, yeah. Give fucking it north. 54 yep. points. Come on, guys. That's righto. Terrible. This Gotta next one, another massive supporter of ours, the CTC Captain of the Week. Head to thecountrycompanies.com for one of the Knuckles designs. There's some fucking rippers on there. Just go on there and actually have a look. They're very funny. And uh, a lot of trade sort of ones. So if you're a tradie, there's probably one for your trade to stick it to the other ones, that sort of thing. And uh, head to countrytruckercaps.com if you want to design your very own for your company for a Bucks party. Um, yeah, it's it's very well set up. It's a great idea. And he's a great mate of ours and a big supporter. Has been from the start, no questions asked, the big knuckler in the team at CTC. For all you blokes with fat heads too. Fucking right. They're large. Myself That's included. right. <laughs> so who are we thinking, boys? In my opinion, there is only one. Put the hammer down. Oh, really? I thought you were going to say that same boxing fight but a different bloke. Nah, look. The oh, new Aussie champ. Oh, I think, <laughs> I, but I don't know, just that, like, the Aussie champ obviously is a fucking, is, is a big one. But I, I just, for me, I'm a rugby league fanatic. Yeah. Just for me, watching him do that. Against the grain was mm. fucking so beautiful to watch it coming was. into Origin. But you're right, and I don't know why I didn't think of that as well. <laughs> the world title's pretty big. We probably should give That's it to Liam Paro. Let's give it to yeah. Liam Paro. But honorable just, mention, a massive honorable oh, mention. I yeah. just any other hammer week, so. any other week, yeah, the you, hammer you've wins been stiff. For sure. Down the week, you've been stiff. This is another honourable mention. Molinari, that hole in one to make the cut. Oh, that was pretty not good. Bad He's not getting it. But He's that not getting was it. He got good. fifty thousand dollars as well <laughs> for making that. But but yeah, that's that's a fucking great point. Right? Now Liam gets it. Yeah, he does. He does. Oh, 100%, uh, yep. Righto, boys. Now normally we would finish the show here. Normally we would. Yeah. But I've got. <laughs> I've got a question. Mm. Should we sack the motorsports guy? Now, look, <clears throat> when, you, when you're up the top and you run, run the show like the three of us sort of do, you know, Billy's been in this situation a couple of times. You've got to make the tough calls. Yeah. And, um, you know, and just let a bloke know if he's – so like for feeder the sort state. of thing. Something's happened and, and you've got to – yeah, and on behalf of the state like Slater to use, does. To use this name narrative, the state. Of the Reggies. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Spoke. They did speak, and you got to make those tough calls. I think what we do is now he's sent one in. He has sent one in. We haven't listened to it, but we've seen that it's hanging around. I've the seen two that it's mark. two minutes really? and 20 seconds. So I think if we were New South Welshmen, he'd just be gone straight away, no questions asked. He would asked. have been gone after the first week. But I just <laughs> feel like... He's had a couple of dog shit performances. Let's not lie. They, that was they just last week's to... was uh, yeah, tough well, listeners. <laughs> and, the, and the Reggie's <laughs> tough listeners. <laughs> and the fucking and the Reggie's absolutely <laughs> hated it. Now we're not going to keep things in there that the Reggie's hate. But what nah. I reckon we do, if you agree, we'll listen to this. And this like this just tells us if we're going to let him just have another little sniff or not. What do you think? This is his absolute last chance. This is like fucking. Nate Miles <laughs> playing dog shit for the Titans all year, yeah. and we pick him for three games of Origin. Yep. But this is it. Yeah, yeah. But this is and game if three. If decider. There's, if there's one more fucking filmed off a spud, four minute <laughs> yarn that it's shit, it's just three minutes it's just of just gone. abusing. The, th- the only on. thing that's got him, got him here is mm. the two minutes twenty. Yeah. The, to this point. Yeah, yeah. We might turn this off after twenty seconds. Yeah, if and we, I just want to say too, the bloke's having a go as well. Like it, like as in everyone like proper chirping him. But and, last and week was taking the fucking. That, yeah, that that's exactly right. <laughs> last that week was, was taking the pi double four. That much. that was. So I reckon if he has a if he has a good crack, it's relevant and it isn't boring as fuck. <laughs> this week, then there's um, early signs that he's we'll learned his lesson. We also didn't miss him last week when we fucking <laughs> ripped on him. No, but he no, called no, me a no. cunt about thirty five times. No, so, so so the and. it's square now. He's yep. chirped us. We've Boom. just fucking buried him. Now we'll just pop his head off so he can breathe, let him have a yarn, and we'll figure out if we're going to dump this the sand. Last right chance, we could, uh, Quino, get ready to hit that fucking stop button if we click the fingers, <laughs> all right? <laughs> right just, on, uh, uh. Come here, you mongrel cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you just beat me like a hunting dog in training or a redhead stepchild last week, and it's all fair enough. It was my fuck up. I was in the wrong. Good start. I Great carried start. on. I was on the way back from a hunting trip. 
long, long drive, assisted by two of his new tallies and got a bit carried away, carried on. I was not happy with Groper because the week before, it was a good yarn spun. It was great. Anyway, <laughs> this weekend in motorsport, we had the <laughs> supercars in Darwin for the Triple Crown. Q1, Golding puts it on pole, then Brock, Fanny and Cold Ass. Race one Cold. gets off to a nice clean start. Then Brocky Boy puts a big hip and shoulder on Golding, which also lets Cold Ass through. <laughs> Nothing else really interesting happened in that race. Mozzie charged through the field. He uh, finished uh, P5, gaining 17 <laughs> places, which is a brilliant effort. In the end, the order was Brock, Fo- Frosty, Brown, Golding, so Chaz. People do. Uh, Q2, Brocky Boy put it on pole. Kostecki then Brown. Race two, Heimgardner run over my new best mate, Cooper Murray. Cooper's my new best mate after he made Cameron do a lid skid a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think everyone was impressed with that and no one likes Cameron because <coughs> they gave him a drive in a supercar as a ring-in for this weekend and he performed qualified 10th in the second race. Uh, ended up getting mounted by, mounted by Heimgardner. <laughs> Um, at the start, and it was all over then. In the end, Brock wins to Brown, then Kostecki. Motocross in the US. Jet Lawrence was way too good, winning ah. both races. Just outskilled all of those yank cunts. Um, <laughs> and his brother was good. Uh, not good enough to beat him, though. Hunter ended up second in the first one, then third in the second nice. one after a small mistake. Yeah, it boys. was a uh, good race, and Hunter and, Lo- uh, Hunter and Jet are just too good. Just too good for the Yanks. Anyway, right. sorry about last week, boys. I hope this one's a, a lot better. I even added some little dirt squirters for you, so, yeah, boys. Fuck yeah. A lot better, wasn't it? That's why you just... Cold ass. He did that's a great why. start. He <laughs> just flogged himself to yeah. at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give himself a hit. He was wimpering. He knew what he did wrong. He'd owned up to his actions. So nothing wrong with that at all. Perfect. Now all the all the boys get their little recap of the V eight. That's no right. F ones on on the weekend. Yeah, so. but you did your job. And right. he threw think... Jet and Hunter Lawrence in there. Yeah, the motorsport. Uh, uh, the fucking motorbikes. Boys. Awesome stuff. He's retained his job. That was prime. Yeah, two minutes. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then Cu- we'll just have a bit of a yarn about it. Couple know? of minutes, brother. So that's sweet. It's all you Unreal. Need. So there you go. You've, you've I'm played sure yourself you can, into a. You can keep your spot. I'm sure you can um, relate to the. The hunting trip, come yeah. back. Okay. <laughs> upper, hey, yeah. upper. Mm. Hopefully, your mate was driving. He would, he would have been. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Because he's yeah, a sure. this bloke's an old go karter. He's into his motorsport. Mm. He knows the dangers. That's right. And mate. he wouldn't drink no, drive. That's right. No, good on you, brother. Beautiful stuff. We will see you Friday morning for the punch show. Don't forget. The horse uh, vlog comes out this Friday. The shares are around the corner. We can't wait to get an ownership group together and have some fucking fun. Fucking hope. Fuck and the Moya, the Moya shirts will be on your big Reggie rig soon. Beautiful. Later. Later.